yung ginawa kasi ng SLRC, mag, may, kung naginawa nila ng intensive review. So, doon sa program na yun, yung lahat ng mga napag-aralan ko nung college na hirap na hirap akong intindihin, yung ginawa lang ng SLRC, parang sobrang dali lang kasi yung mga lectures nila sobrang magagaling and para lang silang, para lang yung feeling ko noon, yung mga lecturers nila, para ko silang mga older brothers and older sisters na kinakausap yung bata. So, ganun yung kanilang level para mas maintindihan ng mga nagre-review yung uh, yung tinuturo nila. And then, yung pagtuturo nila is that ginagawa lang nilang magaan yung nag enjoy ka habang natututo. Yun yung pinakamagandang experience doon kasi akala ko nang dati na mag-review ako, magiging para maabot yung dream, dapat magita yung sobrang serious pero hindi yun yung nangyari. Ginawa nilang uh, masaya kaya mas lalo kong naintindihan yung aking pinag-aralan. I am Paolo I. Bernardino, SLRC, Top Notch. Sure. So here in SLRC, they train you to answer a lot of difficult questions. So when I was taking my board exam, I found that the questions here in SLRC were actually much more difficult than the board exam itself. So it gave me a huge sigh of relief when I was taking the exam. So a big part of my motivation was actually the lecturers here in SLRC. They guided me throughout the review program. Well, for me personally, I'm weak with community health nursing as well as maternal and child nursing. So what I did was I consulted them and they helped me work on my weaknesses. And I am John Jeffrey Go, SLRC, RN, SLRC, USRN. SLRC has no nonsense review materials. What they give you, I tell you, you can use them during the actual board exam. I am Raymond Bansuela, SLRC Board Top Nature. SLRC's program is a holistic one. It doesn't just cater to your intellectual needs, but as well as the emotional and spiritual. It creates an environment that doesn't let you compete with others, but compete with yourself. Every day, you discover your strengths, your weaknesses, and you just want to become the better version of yourself. You are with lecturers of high caliber who are also very humble and are able to simplify hard concepts. The facilities make you feel like you are at home, and it fosters a very good environment for learning. SLRC motivates you to top the board exam. They say you aim for the moon because even if you miss, you fall amongst the stars. And that's exactly what SLRC teaches us every day. I am Eliza Kimberly Yafdilirante, RN, SLRC Top Notcher. Ang SLRC po ay consistent pagdating sa passing rate, every year po sobrang taas ng um, rating or ng passing rate ng uh, SLRC. Bukod doon, every year nagproproduce po sila ng top notch or hindi lang isa, but marami po. And I am Aris Misola, SLRC board top notch. Sure. I chose SLRC because I was amazed during a demo lecture. It was rich in content and very organized. Also, I heard from a friend of mine who graduated ahead of me that SLRC is the best. Great thing I listened because I experienced it myself. SLRC motivated me to be on top by constantly telling me that I can reach for my dreams. Also, those low scores I got from their difficult exams challenged me to strive harder and to persevere. I am Micah Marie Estesidario, RN, SLRC Top Notcher. Great experiences in SLRC. First, let's talk about the program. What I like about SLRC's Let Review program is that it is a complete package. Why did I say that it's a complete package? It includes series of check mechanisms, which includes pre-test, post-test, exam drills per concept, and the predictor examinations, which also includes rationalization. So kitang-kita pa lang natin, programa pa lang para sa mga estudyante, talagang kompletong-kompleto na. Hindi lang na-emphasize ang concepts, kundi yung mga application din ito in the actual test taking. 
Hi guys, I'm Care. Ako po ay lecturer sa Criminologist Licensure Exam sa Law Enforcement Administration. At at the same time, ako po ay police instructor sa Philippine Public Safety College National Police Training Institute. So today, aalamin natin ang discrepancies ng organization sa bureau. Organization, ito po ay common goals and objectives and mission and vision ang nakalaan sa pagpapatupad. Whereas bureau, ang keyword natin dito lang sa board exam ay largest unit, organic po unit na nasa departamento o ang other term ng departamento ay kagawaran. Ang bureau po ay hindi under ng department. Ang bureau ay nasa department or in Tagalog, departamento kagawaran. Now, common to tinatanong sa law enforcement administration sa board exam, criminologist licensure exam, does PNP is an organization? The answer is no. PNP is not an organization. PNP is a bureau. Bureau kasi under Section 23 of Republic Act 6975. Ang organization po ay ang police. So, I am referring to the police officer. Rank from patrolmen, patrolwomen, up to police general. Which is rank by Senator Lacson. So guys, marami pa kayong matututunan sa Law Enforcement Administration kapag mag-e-enroll kayo sa St. Louis Review Center. Tanang Bisaya, Dera, Cebuano, sa Cebu, Dumaguete, Dabao. Enroll ka mo, Dera, Tanan, sa St. Louis Review Center. Ako, kamutudluan, daghan kayo mo matututunan Dere sa St. Louis. So guys, dagan salamat. Again, okay, para hindi tayo magkalimutan. What is your goal? To tap the board exam. Isa pa, what is your goal? To tap the board exam. Thank you very much, guys. Alright, okay. So therefore, same thing here. So whatever it okay, there's a what ADH, it vasoconstricts, therefore it elevates your blood pressure. Can you follow, guys? Okay, good. So again, third function, beat regulation. Third function, beat regulation. So, okay, tulungan nyo ako without looking your notebook, I censor. What are the three functions? I need you to memorize this one. What are the three functions of your Hi guys, let me start first by introducing myself. I'm Sir Brian Jen Mendoza of St. Louis Review Center. I'm actually one of their national lecturers, okay, and I'm a registered nurse. I'm a U.S. registered nurse or USRN as well, so I'm licensed under the state of Florida, and I also hold okay, a master's degree in nursing, okay, to be specific, MSN or Master of Science in Nursing, and major ko pa is medical surgical. So, obviously, guys, okay, ang favorite subject ko is yung med surge natin, yung MS, okay? But nurses, I also do teach other subjects as well, such as psychiatric nursing, fundamentals of nursing, and pharmacology. But my number one ano, love ever since is yung what? MS, okay? But anyway, I'm actually here today, guys, to discuss certain things to you. Number one, we all know right now that the world is facing a big problem, a global problem, okay, a global threat, which is your COVID-19 pandemic, right? Okay, number two. So, um, kami dito sa St. Louis, we're also aware that there are a lot of nursing students like you guys there who are very worried, very anxious, na iniisip nyo, paano ko ba o paano ako magpe-prepare? for my nursing licensure examination, knowing that there's still a risk of getting an infection if I'm gonna do it the traditional way. What do I mean by traditional way? Traditional way like classroom lecture. 
going face to face with other people, mingling with others, di ba? It's too risky as of now, right? Okay. So, but uh don't you worry. Um St. Louis Rivi Center got your back on this one. Okay, why? Okay, we heard okay, yung mga concern yung yan. That's why I'm happy to announce, I'm very glad to announce to you right now that St. Louis Rivi Center is going to be launching an online NLE review program. Okay, so yes, hindi po kayo nabingi. Okay, tama po ang pagkarinig nyo, online po. Okay, so hindi po fake news yan, maraming fake news na yun, pero yan, hindi po fake news yan, legit po siya. Okay, so we're doing an NLE or Nursing Licensure okay, Examination Review Program online. So we're gonna be uh, bringing the blockbuster review program of uh, St. Louis Review Center sa convenience at safety ng sarili nyo pong tahanan. You get my point? Okay. So, ang, ang maganda dito, class, okay, hindi mo na kailangang iris yung sarili mo, hindi mo na kailangan iris yung health mo, okay, yung, yung, uh, okay, yung, yung uh, safety ng lahat, especially your family as well. Okay? Because you can already, okay, get the knowledge that you need, no? okay, to pass or even to top the board examination, okay, without, okay, getting all of those lists. Okay, so okay, yun ang ano uh, ang maganda sa program namin ngayon. Okay, we can actually give all the necessary knowledge. Okay, the things, the teachings that we do in the classroom lecture now via online. This is the gift of technology to us right now. Okay, so but anyway, aside from that, guys, uh, I'm also here today. Okay, to also uh, give you a treat. No, kumbaga parang may meron akong bibigay sa inyong regalo, okay, para sa araw na to. Okay. So, uh I will also be okay giving a free demo lecture or a demonstration lecture, okay, uh in regards okay of a certain topic in medical surgical nursing. So, obviously it's MS, okay, since that's my favorite. Okay. So, I'll be teaching you an endocrine disorder, okay, which is SIAD versus DI, okay? So, ngayon, marami na nag, nag natatakot sa subject na MS kasi sasabihin nila ang medical surgical nursing sir ang hirap-hirap niya ng dami-daming details, ang dami-daming kailangan tandaan, 'di ba? Okay, ang daming mga concepts na kailangan i-memorize. Okay. I agree. But ever since I started okay na magturo, no, I've always been an advocate na bakit ko kailangan pahirapin pa yung isang subject na mahirap? Eh mahirap na nga in the first place. Umaga, if I can make things easier and more comprehensible, why not? Diba? Okay, I've always been an advocate of making things as much as possible more comprehensible. You get my point? Okay, so that's the thing that we're gonna do right now. Okay, I'll make an endocrine disorder easier on your part. Okay, so para makuha nyo yung dapat nyo makuha, okay, at maintindihan yung dapat nyo maintindihan, at para makatulong, okay, na makuha, okay, yung uh, pinaka-aasam-asam nating lisensya, okay, for us to get those two important last letters in our last name, RN or registered nurse, alright, okay, so but before anything else, okay, if you notice, Sir Brian is fast to talk, okay, but I repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat, the key memorization in medical surgical nursing or any other concept is repetition, repetition, and more repetition, remember, okay, anything that you do, paulit-ulit, paulit-ulit, you tend to perfect it, You get my point? Okay, parang si Kobe, Kobe mentality before, mama mentality, di ba? Okay, do things over and over again. You, you tend to perfect it, right? Okay, so good. So, etong rules natin before I, uh, I start. Okay, my lecture is a little bit interactive or it's really interactive, okay? So, I would like you, okay, to answer me back as much as possible, okay? If I tell you to answer, you talk, you talk, you verbalize. Even if I cannot see you right now, okay, you're in front of your camera right now, you talk. Okay? If I tell you to raise your hand, raise your hand. Kahit maano, may namumukong eclipse nyo sa kilitili mo, raise your hands. You get my point? Okay. So move with me, uh, talk with me, and I will give you the knowledge that you need. Are we clear with this one? Okay. So, ay naki. Kasi ang, uh, baliwala ang teacher mo, kahit ang pangalan pa niyan, BSN, RN, USRN, MAN, MSN, uh, PhD, kahit yung dulo pa niyan, RIP, if the students are not learning. Meaning to say, ang importante, pag natapos yung lecture natin na to, may pumasok sa utak nyo. Yun ang gusto ko at yun ang makakatulong sa atin. Tama po ba? Okay. So, let's start with this one. Okay. So, we will be discussing an endocrine disorder. So, every now and then, okay guys, I will be slide sharing uh, certain things here. Okay. So, mawawala ko, mapupunta ako, di ba ito ngayon, malaki, mapupunta ako dyan sa right upper corner. Okay. And you will see certain slides here. Okay. Because uh, I cannot write, okay, now normal whiteboard right now. So, we're gonna do it digitally. Alright, don't worry, I'll do my best, okay, to actually give everything to you. Okay, so, 
Um, in terms of your endocrine disorder, ganito ako pag discuss ang endocrine. I don't discuss the disorder right away. Hindi ako papasok sa sakit kagad. Kasi ganito, pag dinescuss yung disorder right away, yeah, you get it one, uh, today, mamaya maalala mo tomorrow, but two weeks after, three days after, wala na, passes pass. Dementia, Alzheimer's disease. No? Okay, so anyway, so itong uh, discard ko lagi. Whenever I discuss endocrine, ganito, gland muna. Anong function ng endocrine gland na yun? Yung hormone na pinuproduce nun, para saan yung hormone na yun, then sakit. So, basically, ito yung pattern. Gland, hormone, function, sakit. Gland, hormone, function, sakit. This I promise to you. Understand the hormones that I will teach you right now. Okay, you will literally play with the symptoms, okay, of your endocrine disorders. So, paglalaroan nyo lang siya. Okay, so at the end of the lecture, I'll make sure na pumasok yan sa brain cells nyo at cerebral cortex. Okay, so ito yung pattern na gland, hormone, sakit. Okay, let's start guys. Okay, so number one. Okay, let me slide share something here to you guys. Okay, number one. Okay, so first things first. Okay, let's go to a slide here. Okay, so I'll be sharing a slide. So uh, una natin discuss muna is yung endocrine gland natin. Ha? Okay, we'll start with an endocrine gland first. Okay, so can you see? Okay, this, okay the, what I'm sharing right now. Okay, so ito. Okay, here. So this is our slide right now. Okay, so it's going to be endocrine disorders by yours truly. Okay, so first and foremost, let's start first with your gland. Our first gland, okay, for today is your pituitary gland or otherwise known to be as your pituitary gland. It's up to you if you would like to call it pituitary or pituitary. It's up to you kung paano nyo gusto, gusto nyo pronounce. So yung iba, pituitary, iba, pituitary, whatever. Okay, sabi mo ulit, pituitary. Pituitary, or whatever, parehas lang yan. Parang rubitocin, rubitocin, parehas lang yan. Parang ano, penicillin, penicillin, parehas lang yan. Okay, so again, one more last time. Ulitin yung word, pituitary. Good? Okay, so your pituitary gland or pituitary gland, question, nurses, what is the other medical term for your pituitary gland? Any idea? Wala? Okay, so your pituitary gland is otherwise known to be as your what? Hypophysis, guys. So the other term for your pituitary gland is otherwise known to be as your hypophysis. Again, uh, the other medical term for this is your hypophysis. Bakit siya tinaw na hypophysis, guys? Okay, because your, your pituitary gland is actually below. Uh, it's actually found below the hypothalamus. So your pituitary gland, let me repeat, is actually found below your hypothalamic area. So imagine mo, kaya nga hypophysis kasi related siya sa hypothalamus. Okay, let me actually okay, um, show you a picture. So your hypophysis is actually below the hypothalamus. It's actually found on the base of the brain. Base of the brain. Okay, so hypothalamus or base of the brain. Sa baba ng brain. B base, B baba. Okay, let me flash you a picture here. Now, Look at my pointer. I'll, okay, I'll be showing a red pointer there. Okay, can you see this one? So the hypothalamus is this area, okay, class. And below it, you can find your pituitary gland. Below that area, you can find your pituitary gland. Can you follow, guys? Okay, so ito yung hypothalamus, ito yung pituitary. Again, what's the medical term for pituitary again? Hypo. Physis. Very good. It's called as your hypophysis. Okay, so or hypophysis. Okay, now, uh, now if ever... Tanungin kayo, okay, sa board examination, how can you remove the hypophysis, okay, or the pituitary gland, okay? Whenever we do a surgical procedure of removal, anong tinatawag ako okay, sa removal natin? Is it otomy or ectomy? Correct, ectomy, okay? So if ever tatanggalin natin ang pituitary gland, ang tawag sa medical uh, term na yan is hypophysectomy. Remember, hypophysis is your pituitary Ectomy is removal. Diba? Okay. So remember, diba pag otomy, pronounce again the word, otomy. Good. Otomy is, otomy, uh, otomy is opening. Pag ectomy naman is what? Removal. Okay. Now, pag nagtanong sa board examination, ang tawag sa surgical procedure removal, hypophysectomy. Now, question. What is the most common route if ever tatanggalin ang pituitary gland? Saan dadaan? Alpha? Bravo? Charlie? Or delta. Again, sandadaan. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, or Delta. Correct answer is letter what? Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. Correct answer is letter B. Wrong. Very good. Okay, mali. Letter what? C. Wrong pa rin. Very good. Okay, biro lang. Correct answer is letter D. Okay, letter what? D. 
wrong pa rin. The correct answer is letter what? A. Here. Okay. Dito siya dadaan sa sinuses nyo. Technique, everybody. Technique. Okay. So, ang tawag po, okay, sa removal of your pituitary is your hypophysectomy. If ever tanungin kayo, what is the most common route? If ever tatanggalin ang pituitary gland, the answer is po is transpinoidal. Transpinoidal. Okay. Technique. Pronounce again the word spinoid. Spinoid starts with what letter? S. That's found on your sinuses. Nandito siya sa sinus cavity natin. Okay. So, transpinoidal hypophysectomy. So, technique ha. Spinoid starts with what letter? S. Ang letter S. Ang spinoid siya nakikita sa sinus natin. Okay. It can be found on your what? Sinuses. Okay. So, if it, if it can be found on your sinuses, okay, that is the most common way to actually remove your pituitary gland. It's a better area to actually remove the pituitary gland or better route. Okay, why? Ba't ako dadaan dito? Ba't ako dadaan dito? Ba't ako dadaan dito? Eh, mas malapit on this area. Can you follow, guys? Okay, so now, so now, guys, if ever, uh, tatanungin tayo, balik tayo dito sa topic natin. Okay, so, if ever, okay, tanungin tayo, if, if there will be transpinodal hypothesectomy and there was like a question in the board examination, what, is uh, the most common symptom okay, of possible uh, bleeding okay, or hemorrhage after a post-transpinoidal hypophysectomy. Diba? Everybody knows that after surgery, one of the major issues is going to be hemorrhage or bleeding. Right? Okay. So, if ever tanongin sa exam, what's the most common route again? It's transpinoidal. Now, pag tanongin naman kayo, what's the most common symptom of bleeding or hemorrhage after transpinoidal hypophysectomy? what will be your answer? It's going to be what? Frequent? What am I doing? Frequent? And frequent nodding. Frequent what? Swallowing. Okay, I'm not dancing. Okay, so it's frequent what? Swallowing. So the patient keeps on swallowing and swallowing over and over again. Can you follow? Okay, technique ganito para hindi kayo mahirapan. Everybody pronounce again the word SSS. Go. Mabilis. SSS. Okay, good. SSS, remember, you need to interact with me. You need to talk. Okay, SSS. What, is, what does SSS stands for? Okay, hindi po social security system. SSS actually stands for what? Spinoidal. Okay, is the common route. Okay, so di ba ang spinoid is found on the what? Sinus. All right, sinus. And please take note, if you have transpinoidal hyposectomy, which is found on your what? Sinus. The most common symptom of bleeding is frequent as swallowing. Can you follow? Okay. So to make it short, SSS, spinoidal, sinus siya maikita, swallowing po ang most common manifestation of what? Hemorrhage. All right? Okay. So um, imagine, para ka ng tonsillectomy. Diba? Okay. Diba, since the bleeding comes from the what? Sinuses, nagdadrop siya at the back of your throat, allowing the patient to swallow excessively. It will trigger your swallowing reflex. Okay. The same thing, guys. Okay. If you have like, um, tonsillectomy, di ba? Pag na, ang, nag, nag tonsillectomy kayo, pag may bleeding sa throat mo, ang, ang mag-trigger din po to ng frequent swallowing pag nag hemorrhage ka. Same thing pag nisipon ka or colds, di ba? We have what we call post-nasal drip. No? Sounds kadiri or sounds, okay, um, uh, medyo iwi, okay, but this is reality, di ba? If you have a lot of mucus dripping at the back, uh, found in your sinuses, it will drop, no? Or drip at the back of your throat, allowing the person to swallow excessively, okay? So, moving back, okay? So, the most common route, again, is transpinoidal, okay? Si found on your sinuses, okay? And swallowing is the most common manifestation of hemorrhage. Can you follow? Okay, let's go back to our slide, nurses. Let's go back to our slide, okay? So, dun sa ano natin, okay, um, okay, so slide natin earlier, I was mentioning, okay, that your, okay, pituitary gland is actually found on the what? Okay, base of the brain. Okay, otherwise known to be, an other term ulit, hypothesis. Okay, the medical procedure is hypophysectomy. And again, okay, please take note, it's found on the base of the brain. Tandaan, your hypothalamus is actually also considered to be as the master gland of all of your hormones. Okay, so it's considered as the master of all of your hormones. Okay, so siya ang nagko-control ng lahat ng hormones natin. Okay? Almost all, all, all hormones. Okay. Why? It has direct, pandana, direct or indirect effect on almost all hormones. So directly or indirectly, maapektuhan niya ang lahat ng hormones natin. Can you follow, guys? Okay. Good. Now, but take note, ang master gland ba, may mas master pa sa kanya? Yes or no? 
Yes. Who is the god of our body, guys? Sinong just ng katawan natin? Our brain. Exactly. Your brain controls everything. Okay. So si pituitary gland, siya lang yung master ng hormone. Parang ganito. Heart is the master for circulation. Lungs is the master for oxygenation. Di ba? Okay. So, master for what? Uh, hormone naman is yung pituitary. So, siya yung in charge. Pero, they still, okay, respond, no? Doon sa command ng brain natin. Can you follow? Okay, good. Now, please take note, your pituitary gland has two basic parts, guys. Okay? So, it has two basic portion. Okay? What are the first portion? Uh, what is the first portion, rather? First one, we have APG. Okay? So, otherwise known to be as your anterior pituitary gland or APG anterior pituitary gland. Okay. Now, if ever hindi nila tawagin na anterior pituitary gland, anterior, okay, is also called as, okay, your adenohypothesis. Technique ha, technique. A, anterior, A, adeno. Adenohypothesis. The other term for your anterior pituitary is your adenohypothesis. Can you follow, guys? So, adenohypothesis. Okay. So, anterior pituitary is also called as your adenohypothesis. So, tanda na. Let me use my pointer back here, class. Okay. Tingnan nyo. Um, can you see? So, ito yung what? Anterior pituitary. Anterior starts with letter A. Okay. Bilugan nyo yung letter A. A stands for anterior as well. Okay. Hypothesis means your pituitary gland. So, anterior pituitary. Can you follow? Okay. So your pituitary gland or your anterior portion, okay, produces what we call stimulating hormones, guys. Okay. So ito yung parte ng katawan natin that actually produces stimulating hormones. What are stimulating hormones? The hormones for? Exactly. Stimulation. Tama. That's correct. Okay. So it stimulates things. Okay. Uh, uh, it stimulates certain glands in your body. For example, okay, what are the hormones which are found here? I'll give you examples. Uh, example there, we have your what? TSH. If you want to list them down, it's up to you. Okay. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone. Okay. So thyroid stimulating hormone. Okay. So what does it stimulate? It stimulates your thyroid gland to produce T3 and T4. So she nag produce ang thyroid gland to produce T3 and T4. Can you follow, guys? Okay. So it produces T3 and T4. Okay. Now, it stimulates your thyroid gland to produce T3, T4 to control Metabolism or metabolic rate. Yan yung may problem pag may hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. Next, we have there your what? FSH. These are just examples, ha? Okay. FSH stands for follicle-stimulating hormone. It stimulates graafian follicle growth, no? Para sa inyo, girls. Okay. Next, we have also what we call your ACTH or otherwise known to be as your adeno adenocorticotropic stimulating hormone. Adenocorticotropic stimulating hormone. Okay, everybody, pronounce the word to me. Okay, adenocort. Good. Everybody, emphasize cort. Cort, emphasize cort. Cort, cort is for cortex. It stimulates your adrenal cortex to produce corticosteroids. Tanda na, ang cortex produces corticosteroids. Okay, so maraming corticosteroids tayo in the lecture, in our formal lecture. Nandiyan yung what? Mineralocorticoid, glucocorticoid, etc., etc. Okay, so yun yung mga yung problem sa Addison's and Cushing's. But that's not our topic for today. Next, we also have your what? Um, ACT, uh, MSH rather. MSH stands for melanocyte stimulating hormone. Melanocyte stimulating hormone. So this is naman, okay, the hormone that stimulates the pigmentation of your what? Skin. So most of the time, if you have a lot of melanocyte, darker skin, light, uh, less uh, melanocyte, lighter skin. Okay? Next, we also have here your ICTH. For those people who doesn't know what is ICTH, it stands for interstitial cell stimulating hormone. Interstitial cell stimulating hormone. Help me with the word interstitial. Okay, emphasize letter T. Interstitial. Good. Interstitial produces testosterone. All right? Okay, so pang testosterone. Okay, testosterone na naman yan. Okay, so interstitial is for testosterone. Okay, good. Next, LH naman. Okay, LH is for luteinizing hormone. What is the luteinizing hormone? Sa OB yan eh. Luteinizing hormone stimulates what? Ovulation. Okay, correct. Sa ovulation. Para kanino? Babae lalaki? Ha? Huh? Babae lalaki? Malamang babae. Okay, so ang lalaki, okay, hindi naman nag-ovulate. Huwag kang magpilingero dyan. Ha? Okay, so anyway, moving back here. Next, we also have your what? GH. Okay, hindi po green hills yan. It stands for what? Growth hormone. Okay, so it stimulates the growth of your bones and your muscles and other soft tissues. Okay, so ito yung pag mababa ang what? Growth hormone mo, you have dwarfism. Familiar? And if you have high levels of growth hormone, ang sakit mo naman, acromegaly or gigantism. Okay, uh, a little bit of difference. Ang acromegaly, ulit yung may word, acro. Good. Acro starts at what letter? A. A is for A, adult onset. Pag yung growth hormone mo, na lumabas 
ha during adulthood mo na okay or late adulthood mo na that is most of the time acromegaly pero pag bata ka pa lang lumalabas na o sobrang taas na ng growth hormone release mo most of the time ang tawag sa sakit mo gigantism Can you follow, ha? Okay, so gigantism, usually it's a child onset, okay, or younger onset, while acromegaly is more an adult onset. Can you follow, guys? Okay, nandyan din, wala sa listahan ko, pero nandyan din ang prolactin. I don't know if you're familiar with prolactin. Prolactin produces or stimulates lactation. So, para gumawa ng gatas, okay? So, prolactin produces lactation. Can you follow? So, just to end, okay, everything there, basta tandaan, lahat ng hormone na nakikita sa anterior pituitary are all for stimulation. And again, anterior pituitary produces that one. Can you follow, guys? Okay, good. Let's proceed. Number two. Let's go to the second portion of your what? Your pituitary gland. Ito, guys, ha? Dito tayo mag-focus much more kasi dito lalabas yung lecture natin. Okay, which is yung promise ko kanina, yung cyan at saka DI. Okay, so ngayon, I would like you to focus more attention on the next okay, gland. Okay, or the next uh, part of your pituitary gland. So we have your PPG. FYI, hindi po power puff girls yan ha. Okay, so, okay, so it stands for posterior pituitary gland. Posterior pituitary gland. So tandaan na, posterior pituitary gland. What is the other term kanina ng uh, anterior? Adeno hypothesis. Kanina, di ba? Adeno. Ngayon, para magpagsinabi mo ang posterior, ang tawag naman dyan is neurohypothesis. It's actually called as neurohypothesis. Did you get it, guys? So, neurohypothesis. Okay, now, question. Anong pinuproduce kanina ng anterior pituitary? It produces what? Letter S. Correct. Stimulating hormone. Now, ang posterior, eyes on sir, not in your notebook. Everybody, repeat the word posterior. Good. Emphasis S. Posterior. Good. Ang posterior, okay? Taga lang ha, focus mo na kayo sa akin. Ang posterior pituitary gland is actually only a what? Storage. Hindi siya gumagawa ng hormone. Alright? Okay. Ang anterior, it produces hormone. Stimulating type. Pero ang posterior, hindi siya gumagawa ng hormone. Ang trabaho lang po ng posterior is to store it. Lalagyanan lang siya. Can you follow? Okay. The one that produces the hormone for your posterior pituitary is your hypothalamus. So, tanda na, hypothalamus is the producer, posterior is only a storage facility. Take it this way, parang liver sa GI yan, liver gallbladder. The liver produces the bile, the excess gall, okay, the excess bile is placed on the what? Gallbladder. Same thing here. Hypothalamus ang gagawa ng bile, uh, ng, ng, uh, ng hormone, you get my point? Okay, ng hormone, tapos si posterior is only a what? Storage. Can you follow, guys? Okay, good. Okay, now, so moving back to the slide share that we're doing. Wait lang. Let me go back to that. Okay, so, um, okay, so your posterior pituitary, let me repeat, okay, class is actually only a storage. Hypothalamus, uulitin ko, is only, okay, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the producer rather, okay, while the okay, uh, posterior pituitary is actually the what? Storage. Can you follow, guys? Okay, good. Now, What are the hormones now, Sir Bry, which are actually stored on your posterior pituitary gland? Ano yung mga nakatago na hormone dyan? Okay, number one. Pakisulat po sa notebook natin. Number one, nandiyan si oxytocin. First hormone we can find there, which we will use this in the OB lectures that we will have on your um, actual lecture na. Okay, so nandiyan yung what? Oxytocin. So, guys, para sa ng oxytocin, does it also produce a milk? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes? No? No? Yes? Anong yo? No. Okay, the answer is no. It doesn't produce the milk. Okay, it doesn't produce the milk, rather. Di ba sabi sa inyo, the one that produces lactation is prolactin. Correct. Ang trabaho po ng oxytocin is, guys, for the milk letdown reflex. Look at there. Okay, look there, or rather, sa slide natin. So it's for milk letdown reflex. Para hindi kayo mayrapan ganito, ulitin yung word, oxytocin. Good. Oxytocin starts with what letter? Oh, it allows the milk to go in or out. Out. Palabas siya. You get my point? Nakuha niyo yung point ko. Yung prolactin ang magpuproduce ng gatas. Ang oxytocin po ang magpapalabas. So for milk ejection siya. Milk ejection or milk letdown reflex. It's also, okay, having another function. It's also for uterine contraction, guys. Okay? So it also involves itself for uterine contraction. Okay? Para saan maaki ang, para mag-contract ang uterus? For the delivery of the baby and the placenta. Okay? So para ma-deliver ang baby at placenta. Para lumabas ang baby, lumabas ang what? Placenta. Okay? So this is to induce labor or to stop labor. 
induced labor. Exactly. Okay. So technique para hindi kayo mahirapan. Everybody, okay, class in this virtual class, oxytocin starts with what letter? O. Everything goes in or out? Out. Labas ang gatas, labas ang bata, labas ang placenta. Can you follow, guys? Okay, question. Can we also use artificial oxytocin to induce labor? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so this is the natural one. Okay? Did you get the first hormone? Okay, so this is stored on your posterior pituitary. Now, doon tayo sa second hormone. And I would like you to focus more of your attention on this one. Okay? So the next hormone we have here, what? ADH. Now, eyes on sir. Highlight this one. Put an asterisk. Okay? Kung kailangan mo, lagyan mo ng picture mo, one by one, whole body, gawin mo. Okay? Why? This is the hormone that I actually told you to memorize and understand. Why? If you know this hormone class, you will be definitely, okay, um, understanding SIAD and NDI in a much easier way. So I would like you to focus on this, okay, more. All right? Okay, so let's start with this one. ADH. What does ADH stands for? Correct. It's your anti-diuretic hormone. First question, what does ADH do? Does it conserve urine? Anti-diuretic, anti-ihe. It prevents urination. Question, does it conserve urine? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good job. Next question, does it conserve only urine? Do you get the difference of that in question? Code? Does it conserve urine? Yes. Does it conserve only urine? No. Very good. It doesn't only conserve urine. It conserves urine, but not only urine. So from this day forward, I would like it to perfect this one. Repeat the word ADH. Good. ADH starts at what letter? A. Okay, good. It conserves A. All fluid. Tandaan na. Okay. So ang unang trabaho, okay, ng ADH nyo, okay, it actually conserves all fluid. Lahat ng fluid. Before you write it, just wait for me. Okay. Conserves all fluid. Water in your feces. Saliva. Sweat. Tears, everything, even seminal fluid, it will conserve. Yeah. Okay, so it conserves all fluid, guys, directly. Okay, let's write it down. Okay, it conserves fluid directly to the vascular area. Okay, to the vascular area. Medyo natakpan ng ano no ng video ko. Okay, the vascular area and your what kidneys. So it conserves all fluid directly to the vascular area and your kidneys. Okay, so tanda na so kino conserve ng ADH yung tubig sa vascular area and kidney para technique. Get it though. Ulitin yung word. ADH. ADH starts at what letter? Look at my finger. Put your fingers up. ADH starts at what letter? A. Balik tara nyo letter A. Looks like what letter? V. So, kinoconserve ng ADH mo lahat ng fluid mo. Okay? Directly to the vascular area at sa inyong kidney. Ha? Okay. Directly to the vascular area and to your kidney. Now, very important sa akin yung word na what? Direct. Okay, so it conserves the fluid, all fluid directly to the vascular area and your kidney. Bakit po? Ito to. There are a lot of hormones kasi that can conserve fluid, guys. Listen na, maraming hormone and one of them is also aldosterone. Okay, so ang aldosterone po, class, okay, um, is another hormone that can also conserve fluid. But the thing with aldosterone is indirect. Indirect siya. What do you mean by indirect? Um, have you heard about the RAA system or the RAA system? Yeah? Okay, good. RAA or RAA stands for the Renin Angiotensin Aldosterone System. Itong sasabihin ko, huwag niyong sulat ha. Pakinggan niyo lang. Whenever your body, okay, feels dehydrated, okay, every time naramdaman ng katawan mo, okay, na nadidehydrate ka na, your body will actually produce a substance known to be as Renin. Have you heard of that? Yeah, okay, good. Renin, okay, class, okay, will be uh, produced by your kidney and renin will go to your blood, okay? Converting angiotensinogen to become angiotensin 1. No need to write this one. Angiotensin 1, okay, will go, okay, travel towards your lungs and your lungs will now produce ACE. Your ACE, okay, class, okay, your ACE, okay, will con uh, angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE will convert angiotensin 1 to become angiotensin 2. So, yung angiotensin 1 daw, magiging angiotensin 2. Can you follow, guys? Okay. So, yung angiotensin 2 naman, okay, class, that is like the active form. Kung baga parang go, kung magiging super saiyan. So, si 1, magiging 2. So, yung angiotensin 2, pupunta yan sa dalawang receptor. The first receptor, okay, angiotensin 2, look at my finger, 2. Looks like what number? Diba? Angiotensin 2, 2. Okay, looks like what letter rather? V, your blood vessels. So, once the angiotensin 2 go to your blood vessels, it will cause vasoconstriction. You get my point? It will cause a basal constriction. Okay. Another one, okay, your angiotensin 2 will go to another area, which is your adrenals. 
to the specific adrenal cortex and it will stimulate okay, your steroids. Remember, cortex produces corticosteroids and one of the steroids found there is aldosterone, a mineralocorticoid. Everybody, help me with aldosterone. Good. Everyone says the S for me, aldosterone. Good. Whenever there's aldosterone, the job of aldosterone, it conserves sodium. And when there's sodium, what will follow? Water. Exactly. Okay. What's my point? Ang dami ko pa sinasabi. Ang punto ko lang, ang aldosterone, nagko-conserve din ng water. Pero kung nabantayan nyo, ang haba pa ng dinaanan. Renin convert sa 1, 1 punta sa... Okay, get the idea? Okay, 1 punta sa, sa lungs. Okay, tapos mag, magko-convert ng 1 to 2, whatever. Okay, so it takes a long way. O uh, matagal pa rather. Okay, bago magkaroon ng conservation of water. Hindi katulad sa ADH. Pag nandiyan ang ADH, okay, sa vascular area, kukunin niya na kagad lahat ng water. You get my point? Okay, once ADH is found, okay, in your blood vessels, it will automatically get all fluid. So take it this way. Parang ganito. Yung aldosterone niligawan ka ng 1 year, 2 years, 3 years, 5 years. After 10 years, sinagot mo rin at binigay mo matamis mong oo. Pero pag ito ay what? Vasopressin, nagkita kayo kahapon, nagkita kayo kanina, nag-wave siya, nag-wave back ka, nag-text sa'yo, hi, how are you? You know, you know what? I like you. Okay, do you like me? Sumagot ka ng oo. Sabi niya, tayo na. That is ADH, direct to the point. Do you understand? Okay, so ang ADH po is directly it conserves fluid on the vascular area. Now, let me teach you a little bit of your what? Um, fluid, okay, compartments. Okay, take note, ah. Okay, we have three fluid compartments in our system. Okay, can you see the drawing right now? Okay, good. So, these are the three compartments that we have. Do not, uh, do not forget, ah. The first compartment of your fluid, guys, this is called, okay, as your, okay, the first compartment. Ito, yung first. This is number one. This is number two. And this is the third compartment. Can you follow, guys? Okay. So the first compartment, we call it as the vascular space. Everybody, pronounce the word vascular. Good. The second space, okay, nurses, we call it as what? Cellular. Okay? Ito, parang cell siya. Okay. The third space naman, ang tawag natin dyan is your what? Interstitial. Okay, so it's the interstitial space. So everybody, I sincere that you know, go. What are the three spaces? First, we have your what? First, second, third. What's the first space? Vascular. Second space, cellular or intercellular. Okay, and the third one is interstitial. Sometimes I call it interstitial. In, sabi mo yung word, interstitial? Interstitial. Kasi yun yung third space na tinatawag. Can you follow, guys? Okay. So, recap natin now without looking in your notebook. To me, it's a notebook. May free amputation above the neck. Okay, just kidding. So, what are the three spaces? We have your what? Vascular, cellular, and interstitial. Ulit. Vascular, cellular, and interstitial. Okay. So, pag sinabi natin vascular, okay. Pag sinabi vascular, guys, okay. So, okay, that's the first space. Cellular, second space, third is interstitial. Nakakasunod po. Okay, good. Now, listen. Saan nag act okay, ang inyong what? Ay ADH. Sa first, sa second, sa third. Correct. Dito, sa first. Ha? Sa first, okay, uh, space, nag act ang ating what? Anti-diuretic hormone. That's the exact spot, okay, where in your ADH will actually take it action. Uh, take action. No? Okay. So, ngayon, ganito. Ilang space meron ulit tayo? Pabalik-balik ako, ha? Tatlo. Tatlong major space, but we have two major types of dehydration. Tatanda niyo to. Patlong space, but dalawa ang major dehydration. May tinatawag tayong cellular dehydration and vascular dehydration. What's the first dehydration? Cellular. What's the second dehydration? Vascular. Okay, good. Pag sinabing cellular dehydration, yan yung cell, mawawala niya ng water. Pag ito, can you see this one? Okay. So if you see, okay, class, this area. Wait lang, let me use a laser pointer here. Okay. If the cellular area loses its water, what will happen to the cell? Shrink or swell? Correct. Mag-shrink siya. At pag nag-shrink ang cell yan, can it cause cellular damage? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good job. Okay, now. Question. Okay, if you develop naman the second one, which is vascular dehydration, ito blood vessel, do you use water in the blood vessels? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, at pag nawalang ka ng tubig sa blood vessel, apektado ba ang circulation sa katawan? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so it will affect your circulation. So again, what are the three spaces muna? What's the first? Vascular. Second, cellular, third space, interstitial. Good. Question, what are the two major types of dehydration? Cellular dehy, 
dehydration and vascular what? Dehydration. Okay. If it's cellular dehydration, ano mangyari sa cell? Shrink or swell? Shrink. Can it cause cell damage? Yes. But can specific uh, can other cells can okay can specific cells still regenerate if they get broken or nasira sila? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Good. Ang vascular dehydration naman. Pag nawala ng tubig, anong apektado dito? Circulation ba ng katawan? Yes. So gamitin ang utak. Sino ang mas nakakatakot na dehydration? Both of them are. But which one is more dangerous? A cellular dehydration or a vascular dehydration? Correct. It's gonna be a what? A vascular dehydration. Okay. So vascular dehydration is much worse. Why? If it's vascular, emphasis S, vascular. Good. If it's vascular, the effect is more systemic. Ang cellular, localized lang yan. Kung anong specific cell lang nasira, yun lang ang kailangan mag-regenerate. Pero pag ang vascular ang tinamaan po, ang apektado dyan, buong katawan. Bakit? Is your blood vessels connected to all of your vital organ? Yes. If your vital organ does not receive enough blood and water, di ba? Okay. Can your organs start to fail one by one? Yes or no? Yes. That's why you will die faster. Can you follow? That's why, okay, in a, in a certain dilemma, if your body needs to choose who, okay, ang kailangan niyang sagipin mas importante, cell o vessel, mas pipiliin niya yung vessel. Kaya dyan nag-act yung ADH niyo. Na gets di ba? It concerns all fluid directly to the vascular area because the vascular area is a more important area compared to your cell. Cell is import, uh, important, but uh, systemic circulation is much, much okay important. Nakukuha niyo? Okay, so... Parang dilemma lang yan eh. Parang having a dilemma. Alam mo yung classic question na ganito na parang lulubog ang barko, babagsak ang eroplano. Okay, isa na lang ang parachute mo. Okay, isa na lang ang parachute mo. Isa na lang ang light vest mo. Kanino mo ibibigay? Yeah, kanino mo ibibigay? A, nanay mo o tatay mo? Which is very important to you at iisa lang. Or B, boyfriend or girlfriend mo? So syempre, putya, magde-deliberate ka dyan. Parang isipin mo, <coughs> nanay ko, tatay ko, sa lang yan. Mga kapatid ko, umaasa pa dyan. Okay. Tapos di ko mapapalitan na nai-tatay ko. Tapos ngayon, sa kabila, boyfriend, girlfriend ko, mahal ko to. Love ko yan. Di ba? Okay, importante sa akin yan. Pero, hmm, napapalitan yan. Okay. That is actually what we call, ano, okay, that, that choice here. Okay. So, imagine mo, yung cell, yung ano, uh, yung boyfriend, girlfriend mo. Yung blood vessel, yan yung parent mo. Yung ADH, yung life vessel. So obviously, yung light vest, which is ADH, which will conserve life, okay, and water, will be uh, best given doon sa what? Vascular area or sa parent compared to sa boyfriend, girlfriend mo. You get my point? Kasi mas malaking aking problema pag ang vessel ang nawala ng uh, water because it will cause a systemic okay, problem or much worse shock. Are we clear with this one? Okay, good. So that's the first function of your ADH. Ha? ADH conserves all fluid directly to the vascular area. Okay, and of course, your what? Kidney. Can you follow, guys? Okay, good. Now, let's continue. Okay, the second function of your ADH naman. Okay, second function of ADH. ADH starts with what letter? A. Balik ka letter A. Okay, it's a what? Vasoconstrictor. Vasoconstrictor. Diba? It constricts your blood vessel. It constricts your blood vessel. Take note of this, diba? Vasoconstrictor, it constricts your blood vessel. Tandaan nyo. Uh, what is the other medical term for ADH? Vaso? Vasopressin. Vasopressin starts with what letter? V. Okay, and what's letter V? A vasoconstrictor. Correct. It constricts your blood vessel. Question. If you constrict your blood vessel, if you tighten the blood vessel, what will happen to your water? Do you lose it or retain it? Correct. Retain it. Diba? You conserve it better. Uh, further. Parang imagine mo like a, a faucet. Diba? A faucet. Open a faucet, okay? Pag maluwag yung faucet nyo, dire-direct yung water. But if you tighten it, you conserve water better. Same thing what I would like you to have if you have actually what we call ADH, okay? So it constricts blood vessel to help retain fluid. Clear? Okay, good. Now, third function. Third function. If you constrict your blood vessel, okay, can it affect your blood pressure? Yes. What will it do to the blood pressure? Increase it or decrease it? Increase or decrease? Increase. Correct. Tataas ang what? Blood pressure natin. I'll prove it to you. Look at my, ano, my, my mouth. Okay? Imagine, the, I have a Kenny Rocker here. Okay? If my mouth is vasodilated or widen ang, ano, ang, ang diameter, if I push, I try to um, uh, push air with my mouth wide open, okay? So gumagalaw siya, pero mahina. Nag-toothbrush po ako. Ah. Okay? So, okay. But if I narrow the diameter, Diba? Okay, the pressure is greater and I push the candy wrapper better. 
All right, okay, so therefore, same thing here. So whatever the okay, there's a what, ADH, it vasoconstricts, therefore, it elevates your blood pressure. Can you follow, guys? Okay, good. So again, third function, beat regulation. Third function, beat regulation. So okay, tulungan nyo ako without looking your notebook, I censor. What are the three functions, I need you to memorize this one. What are the three functions of your, okay, class ADH? Number one, it conserves all, napagalin natin to, ah. Okay, it conserves all, Fluid. Okay. How? Direct or indirect? Direct. Where? Vascular, cellular? Vascular. Together with what organ? Kidney. Very good. Okay. Number two. Okay. It's a what? Vasocon? Strictor. Correct. Okay. So it vasoconstricts your blood vessel. Okay. It helps. Okay. Fluid retention. And number three. BP what? Regulation. Anong ginagawa sa BP? Taas ba ba? Taas. Okay. So without my help, not in your notebook. Tell me, what are the function of your ADH? Go. ADH stands for what? Antidiuretic hormone. Question, what is number one? Concerns all? Fluid. How? Cellular, vascular? Vascular. Number one, uh, number two, we have your what? Correct. Okay, we have your what? Vasoconstrictor. And number three, BP what? Regulation. So memorize na natin. Ha? Okay, so it conserves all fluid. That's why I don't like it calling uh, antidiuretic. Ang much fitting term sa kanya is anti-dehydration hormone. Kasi hindi lang naman I ang kinoconserve niya. Kinoconserve niya nga lahat. Make sense, guys? Okay, so but anyway, okay. So now, with that in your head, you already have the power to understand the next lecture. Diba sabi ko sa inyo, gland hormone socket. Gland hormone socket. <clears throat> Diliscuss na natin yung gland. We have the hormone function. Dito na tayo sa socket. Okay, so this is the same hormone na may issue doon sa socket na DI at saka cyan. Mamaya nyo na sulat yan. DI. What does DI stands for? Diabetes what? In? Sipidus, exactly. So, diabetes and sipidus. Ulitin mo with DI. DI starts with what letter? D. It's decrease ang ADH. So, mababa daw yung antidiuretic or absent ang ADH niya. So, in DI, in diabetes and sipidus, it's either mababa ang production ng ADH or you have no production of it at all. So, use your head. If you don't have ADH, can you conserve urine properly? Yes or no? No. So, ano mangyari sa'yo? Ihi ng ihi, di makaihi. Correct, ihi ng ihi. Anong tawag sa ano, ihi ng ihi? Anong medical term dyan? Poly? Correct, polyuria. Alright, you want me to prove it to you further? Everybody, repeat the word, D-I. Go, pronounce it, D-I. D-I-D, daming ihi. Kung Tagalog ka, daming ihi. Kung Cebuano o Bisaya ka, daghan ihi. Kung ano, Ilonggo ka or Waray, uh, damong ihi. Di ba? Okay, so whatever. Okay, so whatever uh, language you like, okay, basta maraming ihi. So, ihi ka ng ihi. Question, pag ihi ka ng ihi, guys. Okay, question. Ang tawag, polyuria. Pag ihi ka ng ihi, do you get thirsty, yes or no? Yeah, you develop what? Poly? Poly what? Deep siya. Okay, so excessive thirst. You keep on what? Okay, replacing the water. Question, pag ihi ka ng ihi, apektado ba ang water status sa katawan, yes or no? Yes, what will happen to you? Water loss, water retention. Water loss, correct. Okay, what will happen to your fluid status? Fluid excess or deficit? Correct, deficit. Okay, question, will it affect the blood volume, yung blood nyo, yes or no? Yeah, because your blood contains water. So what will happen to the blood? Hypervolemia, hypo. Correct, hypovolemia. Will it affect your BP, yes or no? Yes, hypertension, hypotension. Hypotension, good job. Okay, question, um, apektado ba ang weight sa katawan, yes or no? Yeah, weight loss or weight gain? Weight loss. Remember, fluid, uh, weight is one of the best indicator, okay? Or weight, rather, is a one of the best indicator or the best indicator, rather, for fluid status. Yeah? Okay. So, anyway, so you develop weight loss. Are you prone for dehydration? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What type of dehydration? Sige, Eber? Cellular dehydration or vascular? Correct. Vascular dehydration kasi doon nag ang ating ADH. Correct. Okay. Question. Pag na-dehydrate ka, are you prone for shock? Good. What type of shock? Anaphylactic or hypovolemic? Correct. Hypovolemic shock. Okay. Are you prone for renal failure? Yes or no? Yes. Because your kidney supposedly, di ba, conserves fluid kasama ng blood vessel. Right? Okay. Since walang ADH, walang fluid. And you develop renal failure. And you know what? Look at my answer right now. You know what you're telling me right now? You're telling me 150% correct symptoms, manifestations, okay, of diabetes insipidus without me teaching DI and SIAD formally. Take note, ang tinuro ko pa lang sa inyo is yung hormone function. Gland pa lang. But, okay, as you can see, I'm providing choices. Okay, and you're getting all the correct, okay, answers.
Usually naman pag mali yan, ah, ko, correct ka ka, mali. Diba? Okay, but all of your answers were spot on. You know why? I did not taught you the symptom yet. Hindi pa tayo nag-lecture uh, ng formal. Okay, but I just taught you the hormone function. That's my point. If alam mo yung hormone function, madali yung symptom. And as you can see, you have done it without my, uh, without, okay, me teaching formally the lecture yet. You get my point, guys? Okay, see, ganun kadali. At ito pa madanda, tip sa endocrine. Um, ang endocrine, balik na rin mo lang yan. You get the opposite disorder. Kasi sa endo, hindi pwedeng high, hindi pwedeng low. Kailangan hormonal balance. Okay, so doon tayo sa kabila. Okay, repeat the word, cyan. What is cyan? Anong buang? Anong sira ulo? No, okay. Ang cyan is schizo, uh, Indian schizophrenia. Cyan is syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. Syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. And I sponsor. I don't like the term. I don't like the term. I, inappropriate, you don't need to write it yet, mamaya na. Inappropriate, you know why? Okay, DI is also inappropriate for me. Di ba ang DI mababa ang EDH? I told you, I don't like high, I don't like low. Okay, so in DI, since there's absence or low EDH, that's also inappropriate. It's inappropriately low. You get my point? Okay, so I don't like, okay, the word uh, SIAD, syndrome of inappropriate, because I don't know if it's if it's high or it's low. So a technique ganito, okay. Ako lang nag-change siya sa libro inappropriate pa rin. Everybody, repeat the word SIAD. Correct. Okay, instead of okay, of S I A D H, yung I gamitin mo yung I na parang arrow. So sabihin mo syndrome of I increase ADH. Let's try it again. Syndrome of what? Increase ADH. Sa pa syndrome of what? Increase ADH. So yan ang problem sa I, ano sa yan. Mataas ang levels of ADH no. Hindi ka nine point. Di ba mas fitting term siya? Okay, correct. So question, anong trabaho ng ADH? Does it, okay, alam niyo na yan, conserves all fluid, vasoconstrictor, etc. Anong meron sa cyan? A lot of what? ADH or a little? A lot. Okay, so anong meron sa cyan? I ng ihi, di makaihi. Correct, di ka makaihi. Anong tawag doon? Polyuria, oliguria. Correct, oliguria. Di ba? Oliguria yan. Okay, question, pag may oliguria ka, apektado ba ang water sa katawan? Yes or no? Yes, water loss or retention? Retention. What will happen to you? Can it affect your fluid status? Yes. Fluid what? Um, Overload or deficit? Overload. Question, can you have jugular vein distension? Yes or no? Yes, because FYI, reminder, it concerns all fluid directly where? Cellular, vascular? Vascular area. Okay, good. So that's why you have vein distension. Question, uh, does it affect your blood volume? Yeah, hypovolemia, hyper. Hypervolemia. Will it affect your blood pressure? Yes or no? Yes. What will it do to the blood pressure? Hypotension, hyper. Correct. Hypertension. Can you follow? Okay. So, magtataas ang BP natin. Question. Um, weight loss, weight gain. Weight gain, obviously. Last question. Can you develop body edema? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Very good. Wrong. Wrong. Okay. Um, most of the students will answer that there will be body edema. Most of the students will mention there's body edema. Body edema. I'm sorry, you're wrong. 99%, okay, most of the time, okay, sasabihin nila, meron body edema, wala po. I'm really sorry. Okay, you know why? Let me go back to the slide. Okay, sana sinabi nyo, edema of the kidney or hydronephrosis, I accepted it pa. But body edema, I'm sorry, wrong. You know why? Let me uh, go back to the slide share for a while again. Okay, and let me show you something here. Naalala niyo yung drawing natin kanina, guys? Okay, so let's go back. Okay, here. So ang ADH natin sa nag a sa first, sa second, sa third. Sa first, okay, for you to develop edema, dapat ang fluid na sa second or na sa third. Ha? Second and third, yan ang magkukos ng edema para makita dito sa superficial tissues natin. Nakukuha niyo? But since your fluid is here, and here, which is your blood vessel in your kidney, so by jugular vein distension or distension of vessels and edema of the kidney, but not your body, not your what? Tissues. Do you understand? Or outer tissues. Okay. So, tandaan nyo ito ha. Para magkaroon kayo ng what? Ng edema, kailangan ng fluid na sa second or third. Most of the time sa third. Technique. Everybody, repeat the word. Third space. Third. What number? Three. Third, number three, sideways. Looks like what letter? E. That's the time you develop edema. Then you can the third spacing. If the fluid is found, okay, if the fluid is found, okay, class on the third space or second space, that's most of the time will develop, okay, edema. 
You understand? Okay? So, walang okay, body edema sa sayad kasi ang tubig nasaan? First, second, or third? First. You get the idea, guys? Nakuha niya pa. Okay. But all of your answer were all almost perfect except for most of the time niya may body edema. Alright? Okay. So, walang body edema. Edema of the kidney meron. Para body edema wala. See? But again, okay. Um, <clears throat> But without me formally discussing it to you, di ba? Yung, yung, yung clinical manifestation set, nakukuha niya na as early as now. Right? You know why? Because you know the function of the hormone. So that is our technique. As long as you know the hormone, alam mo yung sakit. Can you follow? Did you get my point so far? Okay, let's try it. Huh? Let's exercise our brain. Okay, guys, I would like you to tell me if it's cyan. You tell me if it's what? DI. Tell me if it's cyan. Tell me if it's DI. With the technique with the, uh, with the technique that I have just told you right now. So cyan or DI. Huh? Tell me if it's cyan. Tell me if it's DI. Okay, verbalize in your houses. Huh? Please. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, go. Okay, sino dito yung ihi ng ihi? DI, di makaihi. Sayad, daming ihi. DI, oligoria. Oligoria, sayad. Okay, polyuria, DI, water loss. DI, water retention. Sayad, hypertension. Sayad, hypotension. DI, wala ko marinig na si Dayad at DCI, ah, huwag niyo paghaluin. Okay, sino dito yung what? Uh, weight loss. DI, weight gain. Sayad, fluid excess. Sayad, fluid deficit. DI, polydipsia. DI, correct. Okay, sino dito yung mat? Jugular vein extension. Sayad. Dagdagan natin. Um, even management. Wala pa tinuro management. Pero tunan nyo, sinong bibigyan nyo ng diuretics? Sayad or DI? Ang paihi. Sayad, correct. Okay, kasi hindi siya makaihi. Bigyan mo ng makaihi. Bigyan mo ng diuretic. Sino nyo bigyan ng anti-hypertensive? Sayad, DI. Sayad pa rin kasi may hypertension. Sino bibigyan ng maraming fluid or hydration? Sayad or DI? DI, sino bibigyan ng ano um we, uh, we will do restriction of fluids or limiting of fluids. Sayo DI. Correct, sayo. See? You know what are you doing right now? You're already uh classifying sayo versus DI without the formal lecture yet. You know what you have in your brain? The function of the hormone. Yun ang gusto, gusto ko mangyari dito. Pag alam mo yung function ng hormone, di ba, matetrace mo lahat. Kasi kayo, pag minemorize yung sakit ng mismo, yung symptom, okay, ng mismong sakit, tapos yung symptom na yun, hindi lumabas sa board examination nyo, patay. Makakalimutan nyo. But if you know the source of the problem, kahit pa ikot-ikotin kayo, okay, class, masasagot at masasagot nyo yung manifestation. Do you get my point, guys? Okay, so ganun kasimple. Okay, so let's go. Okay, proceed. Okay, with the discussion. Okay, formally of your side and there. So what I would like you to do right now is this one, guys. Okay, I would like you to divide your notebook right now. Okay, di ba tayo tapos? Divide it. Okay, one side di ay, the other half side. So we'll do a comparison. Okay, so compare and contrasting the two. So one side di ay, one side side. Alright, okay. So divide your notebook into two columns. Okay, then I'll actually flash something to you. So guys, can you see now the slide that I'm sharing right now? Um, here. So let's divide natin yung notebook natin, no? Okay, so here. So, yan. Okay, so let's go back for this one. Okay, so I would like you again, as mentioned, okay, to divide your notebook, di ba? Two columns, one side sayad, one side DI. Okay, so dito muna tayo sa kabila. Okay, DI stands for what? Diabetes insipidus, right? Okay, so DI, ganyan yung spelling po niyan. Doon sa hinahanap yung spelling kanina. So DI, diabetes insipidus, or just call it DI. Okay, now, um, on the other half naman, okay, class, di ba? We will be having sayad. But let's start first with DI, no? Okay, so yung DI natin, let's go back. Okay, yung diabetes insipidus natin, okay, has two major forms, FYI. Okay, so two major forms. We have your what? Neurogenic, okay, and we have what we call a nephrogenic type of DI. Okay, so let's start first, okay, with a neurogenic DI. Okay, Abe Mari, sabihin mo yung word, neurogenic. Good. Neuro, okay, neuro. Anong naisip mo pang neuro? Yung nervous system, okay? So your nervous system, okay, to be specific, okay, dito papasok yung ating brain. Tandaan na, pang neurogenic, okay, class, diba, one of the major parts of the nervous system is your brain, okay? So isipin mo pang neurogenic type tayo or neurogenic form, your problem is yung utak mo, okay? Um, to be specific, your hypothalamus and your pituitary gland, okay, or posterior pituitary gland. Remember, hypothalamus is part of your brain, Pituitary is below your hypothalamic area. Okay, so if it's a neurogenic type, ang problema, gito. All right, okay. So ano nang yare? It's either a daw there is low absence, no? Nagpo-produce ka pero kulang, or there's total absence of an anti-diuretic hormone. So it's either meron 
konti lang or walang-wala talaga. Okay? So, bakit? Okay, it's either yung hypothalamus mo hindi nagpo-produce talaga ng ADH o nagpo-produce siya, or, 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 uh, nagpo-produce siya pero konti. Or, yung posterior pituitary hindi nagsustore ng maayos. Okay? Sir, bakit hindi po nagproduce? Ba't hindi po nagstore ng maayos? There are a lot of reasons kung bakit nagkaroon ng problem sa brain natin. Um, example, increase ICP. Nurses, are you familiar with ICP? Okay, correct. ICP stands for intracranial pressure or elevated ICP. Okay, if there's too much ICP, can it cause brain damage? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Another possible pa uh, cause uh, cancer. Cancer sa brain. Remember, cancer cell can cause, uh, I mean, cell uh, cell death. Okay, or uh, organ damage. Okay, now another one, it can also be due to what? TBI. Are you familiar with TBI? Traumatic brain injury. So, nagka-trauma, kinamaan yung brain, o oh, pituitary gland, na wala na function. Here. So, there are a lot of reasons. Mas ang point nito, neurogenic type, itong may issue. Okay, now, the second portion, okay, we have your what? Nephrogenic cause naman. Everybody, pronounce the word nephrogenic. Good. Nephro, anong naisip niya pag nephro? Liver, kidney. Liver, kidney. Pag liver, hepato, di ba? Okay, pag ne nephro is what? Kidney, correct. So, di ba naalala niyo yung ADH, okay, works in two areas. It is conserving all fluid directly to the vascular area and your kidney. So, ang nangyari ngayon, walang problema sa brain. Walang problema sa pituitary storage. Ang problema natin dito, uh, you are producing enough, okay, ADH, but the kidney is not receiving it. Di ba dapat yung ADH pupunta sa blood vessel at sa kidney? Ang nangyari, yung kidney, nireject niya. Nag-resist siya. Can you follow? Okay. So, <coughs> nireject niya. Parang diabetes mellitus type 2. Nireject. Can you follow, guys? Okay. So, nagre-resist tayo. Okay. So, moving back here. Okay. So, it's nephrogenic cause. Sir, ba't naman nagkano'n nephrogenic cause? Possibly, um, renal failure, uh, any kidney disorders, baka may SLE ka, autoimmune problem ng kidney, whatever. But some point, nasira ang kidney, kaya hindi niya tinanggap ang ADH. So, balik tayo. What are, again, okay, recap natin. What are the two types, okay, or forms of your diabetes insipidus? We have neurogenic and nephrogenic. So, neuro versus niya, okay, nephro. Again, pag neuro ng problema, brain or kidney? Brain, nephro, problema, kidney. If ever magtanong si NLE exam, which one is more common between the two? Neuro or nephro? Neuro or nephro? The answer is what? Neuro. Alright? Okay, so neurogenic is more common type. Okay, now, doon tayo sa opposite side, diba? Sabi ko, hatiin yung notebook nyo. Doon sa kabila naman, we have your what? Cyan. Or what we call syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone or SIADH. Okay, so yan yung spelling yan. Okay, so syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. But I told you as one earlier, okay, diba? Hindi ko ina-accept o ayokong gamitin yung word na inappropriate kasi nakaka-confuse. Kasi itong DI, mababa rin naman Diba? Okay, this is also inappropriate. Let me use my uh, laser pointer here. Diba? Okay, so this is also inappropriate. Inappropriately low. Mababang ADH nyo. Okay, so ito naman, okay class, inappropriately high ang ADH nyo naman. Kaya that's why kung naalala nyo ako kanina, sabi ko, instead of isipin mo na syndrome of inappropriate, nakita nyo itong I, gawin mong syndrome of increased ADH. Can you follow, guys? Okay. So, there's too much what? Okay. Anti-diuretic hormone. Okay. If ever tanungin naman kayo, what is the primary cause of cyan? Ang sulat po niya sa notebook niyo, it's due to a what? Pituitary adenoma. Pituitary adenoma. Natatakpan lang po ng, ano, ng video natin, but it's a pituitary adenoma. Pag sinabing adenoma nurses, it's a type of tumor. Adenoma, let me repeat, it's a type of tumor. What type of tumor? Benign or malignant? Benign, malignant. Benign. What's benign? Cancerous or non-cancerous? Non-cancerous. Correct. Okay. So, imagine nyo ganito. Imagine my cup is your hypothalamus or your pituitary gland. Imagine my fist right now here is your what? Um, Your tumor. Okay? Imagine the water inside is your piti, uh, your ADH. Okay? If there's an enlargement, okay, of your pituitary, I mean, your, your tumor near, okay, the pituitary gland or the hypothalamus, that tumor growth will cause Okay, pressure or the tumor will push this gland to over secret antidiuretic hormone. Nagets no? So imagine mo, ito yung hypothalamus, ito yung tumor tinulak niya. Okay, causing excessive production. Siya yung leading cause. Wala kong sinabing siya yung only cause. Ha? Ang sabi ko po, leading. Can you follow guys? It's a primary cause or the leading cause of side. Marami pang cause but this is the leading one. Alright, okay. So causing overproduction of NH. 
Can you follow so far? Okay. So let's go back okay, um, towards your DI first and let's more focus on that. Diba? Nakahati notebook natin. Okay. Let's go for the clinical manifestations of your diabetes insipidus first. Clinical manifestations of diabetes insipidus. Okay. We have done it earlier. We'll just formally write it right now para mas kompleto. Okay. So ang DI, ano meron sa DI? Walang ADH o marami? Wala. So ano mangyari? Ihi ng ihi, di ba makaihi? Ihi ng ihi. Daming ihi. Ano tawag sa daming ihi? Poly? Urea. Okay. So, you develop polyurea. You can urinate, FYI, as more than 4 liters per day. Or more than 4 liters kung i-convert mo 4,000 ml per day. Diba? 1 liter is 1,000 ml. Okay. So, they can urinate as much as more than 4,000 ml or 4 liters per day. That's, that's sobrang dami. Bakit? Ano ba ang normal urine output natin? Correct. It's 30 to 60 ml per hour. If you're gonna compute it in 24 hours, do your math, mm, nga 1,400 or sabi mo ng 1,500, okay, ML sa isang araw. Ang DI, sobra pa dyan. 4,000 ML, sobrang dami nun. Can you follow, no? So, sobrang dami. Okay, but use your head. Hindi aabot, okay, ng polyurea, ng ganyang kadami, okay, ng more than 4, 5, 7 liters per day if hindi ka umiinom. Okay, so you develop what? Polydipsia. Because of the loss of water, it will trigger your what? Okay, thirst. Now, okay, causing the patient to drink a lot. Can you follow, guys? Okay, now, um, listen up, ha? Okay, huwag niyo ko masagot-sagot na, Sir, um, tumihi yung pasyente, ilan? 20 liters, ha, ah, talaga? Okay, or 20,000 ml. Uh, kuminom, wala, sir. Nag-IV, wala, sir. Nag-parenteral nutrition, wala, sir. Pucha, saan galing ang tubig? Get <laughs> idea. Okay. Simple, simple yun. Okay. So usually, a class, they compensate by drinking. Okay. Now, question. Is there a sugar problem in diabetes insipidus? Yes or no? May sugar problem as a diabetes insipidus. Meron wala? Meron wala? Diabetes? Wala. I'm really sorry. Kaya lang siya tinawag na diabetes insipidus because it has similar symptoms with diabetes mellitus, which is polyuria and polydipsia. Pero wala po siyang polyphagia because this is not an insulin problem. Rather, it's actually what? Okay, an EDH problem. Okay? So walang cell starvation here. So kaya lang tinawag ng DM, uh, a diabetes siya kasi similar yung manifestation niya sa diabetes mellitus. Okay, tayo ha? Okay. So pag iin ng EN nurses, again, as mentioned, apektado ang water sa body. So you develop water loss. We have this already earlier. You also develop what? Fluid excess or deficit? Deficit. Okay, good. And you're also prone for what? Hypovolemia. If you have hypovolemia nurses, will it affect the blood pressure? Yes or no? Yes, what will happen to the DP? Go up or down? Down, causing hypotension. Okay, so if you have, okay, class, okay, iin ang iye, it does it also affect the water status or rather the weight status of your patient? Yes, weight loss, weight gain. Weight loss, secondary to what? Dehydration. Diba? Okay, so you develop, okay, weight loss, secondary to dehydration as well. Okay, remember, is weight the best indicator of fluid status in our body? Yes or no? Yes. Question, additional, what type of dehydration is the patient prone for? Prone for cellular dehydration or vascular? Cellular vascular? Vascular kasi doon nag-aak ang ADH nyo. Okay? So which will also cause weight loss. Can you follow? Okay. Now, I'm not yet finished. Pag ii ng ii ang pasyente, ii ng ii, ii ng ii. Okay. Anong nangyari sa ii mo? Diluted, concentrated? Diluted kasi wala nang enough time si kidney na mag-concentrate ng urine. So causing the patient to dilute, okay, having a diluted urine or dilute urine. Okay. Now, Pag I ng I, I ng I, as mentioned, mawawalang ka ba ng tubig sa dugo? Yes or no? Yes. Remember, your blood is a solution. What is a solution? Combination of solid and solvent. Pag I ka ng I, ang mawawala, solvent yung water. Yung solvent yung water. Can you follow? Okay. At pag nawala yung solvent o yung water, okay, ang naiiwan yung solid product. Making the blood what? Viscous or thin? Nawala ng tubig, viscous or thin? Viscous. So, you develop hemoconcentration. So, yung blood natin nagiging concentrated, apektado ba ang circulation lalo? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now, with all this combined, use your head. Okay. If you have polyurea, look, 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 polydipsia, water loss, everybody talk, fluid deficit, go, hypovolemia, hypotension, keep it coming, dehydration, weight loss, hemoconcentration. Okay, class, are you prone for shock? Yes or no? Yes. So, pag tinanong kayo sa what? NLE exam, what is the cause of death of a person? Okay. Usually, with diabetes insipidus, ang kinamamatay nila, yan. Shock. What type of shock? Cardiogenic or hypovolemic? Correct. Hypovolemic shock. 
it's most of the time hypovolemic shock. Okay. So again, if it's a heart problem, it's cardiogenic. Okay. So this is hypovolemic what shock. Okay. And aside from shock, you're also suffering from renal failure. Renal failure since the, your kidney will not also receive enough fluid. So it will cause, okay, shock, okay, leading to organ failure or multiple organ failure. And aside from that, renal failure to be specific as well. Did you get my point so far? Okay. Sir, ang daming symptom. Yes, ang dami. Sir, ang hirap. No? Why? Kanina rin yung pa sinasabi yan. Kanina yung pa sinasagot to. Dinadagan lang natin ang details. Okay. Bakit yung nasagot lahat? Okay. Why? Because they're all threaded together. Interconnected yan. Kaya yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, don't memorize the symptom. Understand the hormone. The hormone will tell you everything. Did you get my point so far? Alright? Okay. Good. Now, so these are the clinical manifestations of diabetes insipidus. Okay. Let's move forward. Okay. What is what? Diagnostic test. Okay. So yung mga ano, um, diagnostic test natin or laboratory. Number one, you need to check the brain. CT scan, MRI. Diba? Okay. Kasi by the neurogenic cause. So I, okay, you can go for CT scan or MRI. Which is one, which one is more specific there? CT scan, MRI. MRI. Kasi yung MRI po, cross-section check-up yan ng utak natin. Okay. Layer by layer. Okay. More specific tayo dyan. Although CT scan is also accurate. Okay. Next, number two. Okay. We have your what? Water deprivation test. Guys, nurses, what is water deprivation test? A test of deprivation of water. Malamang. Alam naman coffee. Okay. So, kidding aside, um, this is an examination, di ba? Okay. Which... Uh, is needed na kailangan natin ng ano ng monitoring ng INO. Do we do monitoring INO in the hospital? Yes or no? Intake and output. Yes. Okay. So, ganito. Normal person, ha? Normal person. Uh, pag ikaw, hindi ka binigyan ng fluid. I have a patient. You did not give oral fluid, IV fluid, or any parenteral fluid. Okay. Class, at the end of the shift, if I am normal, ha? Okay. If you don't give me any fluid, Anong mangyayari sa ihi ko or urine production ko? High production of urine or low? Correct, low. Why? Because my I'm normal. Ha? If my body detects that I am at risk for dehydration, I told you there are hormones that can save me. Like ADH, aldosterone. Diba? Okay. But on this end, ADH. What does ADH do? Conserves all? Fluid. You get my point? Okay. So, kumbaga, ang gagawin ng ADH mo, pang naramdaman niya na mababang fluid status sa katawan mo, ila-lockdown niya. Parang itong ginagawa sa atin ngayon, okay, class quarantine, lockdown. Di ba? Pag sinabing may law, di ba? Bawal lumabas, bawal lumabas. Di ba? Okay, parang law class law. Okay. Pero pag may ginawa ka, dun sa law na yun, at uh, kay sinabmit mo at kinorek mo, ay, pwede na palang law. At the bureau lang. Okay. So, uh, meaning to say, class, since yung ano yung bawal na mabas na kikimchong. <laughs> anyway, so my point is this. Okay, class. As long as there is normal and normal people, okay, we produce ADH, it's locking down the fluid. It, it prevents the water to come out. But, on the other end, if I have DI, if I have DI, kahit hindi mo ko bigyan ng tubig, hindi mo ko pa inumin, mapapansin mo, ihi pa rin ako ng ihi, daghan pa rin ng ihi ko, daming ihi, damong ihi pa rin ako at the end of the what? Okay, at the end of the uh, monitoring. Okay, my point, yun ang DI. Ibig sabihin sa DI, despite the privation of water, I keep on uh, urinating and urinating and urinating because I don't have the ADH. I don't have that uh, ability to lock down fluid. Can you follow? So, but the problem in water deprivation test, guys, it's risky. Why you're risking the patient at the okay for dehydration itself? Number two, it takes time. You get my point? Okay, that's why the next examination is a better test. The best examination is number two, and uh, number three, rather, we have specific gravity test. Okay, question, what do we check in specific gravity? Do we check gravity, yes or no? No, okay. So we check your urine. Okay, nandiyan na nga sa slide natin, di ba? Okay, it's actually um using what we call a urine analysis or urine analysis. So the specimen is the Okay, so now, what is the purpose of your specific gravity test? The purpose of this is to check the ability, tandaan nyo, isulat nyo kung nyo, check the ability of your kidney to concentrate urine. To check the ability of your kidney to concentrate urine, which is again affected during diabetes insipidus. Diba? Affected ang ano, diba? O urine concentration natin. Okay. So ngayon, okay, class. Okay, so the patient has a problem with uh, concentration of urine. That's why the specific gravity will be altered here. Now, bakit ito yung best exam? Anong specimen natin kailangan dito? Ihi pa eh. Ihi. Ano ba yung patient natin? Ihi ba ng ihi? Yes. So the specimen is already there. You just need to extract it. Or collect it rather. Hindi na pala extract. Diba? Okay. Iko-collect nyo na lang. Tapos question ng urinalysis. Pwede bang ipastat to sa medtech or sa laboratory? You know what's that? 
What's that? Later now? Now. Can you get the result right away? Yes. You get my point? That's why this is a, okay, a better examination. Okay. The normal specific gravity po, pakisulat po, is about 1.010 to 1.030. Okay. So 1.010 to 1.030. Okay. So, class, okay, let me correct this one. Uh. This is, okay, 30, uh, not 35. 1.010 to 1.030. Uh. But, uh, as long as you're within the range, pasok kayo dyan. Yung ibang libro kasi 1.025. Okay. So, 1.010 to 1.030. Did you get my point so far? All right. Okay, good. What is the specific gravity in DI? High or low? Low. Kasi ihi ng ihi. Tandaan na, so the specific gravity of DI is below 1.010. Tandaan, if it's below the okay, 1.010, it's diluted. If it's above 130, it's concentrated. Make sense? Okay, good. Next, another examination, we have your serum osmolarity test. Serum. Guys, what's serum? Ano specimen? Obvious. Blood urine. Blood. Question, is your blood concentration also affected? Yeah. Diba sabi ko, ang ihi, diluted. Diba? Kasi ihi ka ng ihi. Pero ang blood, nawala ng tubig, ano nang nasa blood natin? Concentrated. Correct. You have hemoconcentration. Alright? Okay. So, ang specific gravity, chinecheck ang concentration ng urine. Ang serum osmolarity, chinecheck ang concentration ng blood naman. Okay? Concentration of your blood naman to. Can you follow? Okay. The normal value of this is about 285 to 295 MOSM per kilogram. Okay, so 285 to 295. If you have other normal values, okay, for, uh, I mean, you can see other normal values in other books. As long as within the range, okay, safe kayo dyan. So 285 to 295. Now, this time around, what's the serum osmolarity or concentration of our patient with DI? High or low? Correct, high. Diba? Mataas siya ngayon. Okay, so mataas ang uh, urea, serum osmolarity. So take note of this para madali. Ang ihe diluted ang blood concentrated. So, ang specific gravity mababa, ang serum osmolarity mataas. Are we clear? Okay, good. Let's go for the what? Management. Okay, not yet pa pala. Another examination, we also have your what? KFT or your kidney function test. Alright, okay. So, kidney function test. I think you know why kasi another possible form of your what? Okay, DI is your nephrogenic pad. Ang kidney function test, this is to rule out under renal problems. Okay? So, yan yung DUN, creatinine, creatinine clearance. Clear tayo? Okay, good. So let's go for the management itself. Number one. Nurses, anong wala sa DI? I mean, anong hormone ang wala? EDH. What's the other term for EDH? Baso? Basopresin. Okay, etong rule. Kung anong wala, yun ang ibigay. Simple. Diba, for example, um, Addison's disease. Are you familiar with Addison's disease? Yeah, okay. Addison starts with what letter? A. It's absence of what? Cortico? Steroid. Okay, anong binibigay sa Addison's? Steroid. Diabetes mellitus type 1. Anong wala dyan? Insulin. Anong binibigay? Insulin. Pernicious anemia, if you've heard of that, yan yung sakit na walang vitamin B12 or kulang ang vitamin B12 absorption. Anong ibigay? B12. Okay, simple. Kung anong wala, yun ang ipalit. Diba? Kung anong wala, yun ang ibigay. For example, wala kang trabaho, anong kailangan mo? Trabaho. Correct. Wala kang lisensya, anong kailangan mo? Lisensya. Wala kang pera. Anong kailangan mo? Pera. Exactly. Wala kang love life. Anong kailangan mo? Love life? Hindi. Pera, trabaho, lisensya. Di ka daily. Mahirap mag-love life na walang trabaho. Okay. So anyway, kidding aside, okay, kung anong wala, yun ang ibigay. So that's the thing that we need to give. So we go for HRT, guys. So what does HRT stands for? Hormonal Replacement Therapy. Stands for Hormonal Replacement Therapy of ADH for life. For life. For the rest of your life, you need to take replacement of antidiuretic hormone. Question, what's the other medical term for what? ADH again, vaso? Presin. So that's why lagi mo mahuhuli ngayon ang answer, okay, pagdating sa gamot. Bakit? Lahat ng, okay, antidiuretic hormone na gamot or replacement, it always ends with the word presin. Lahat na sabihin ko pakitapos ng presin. Let's start. Desmo? Presin. Good. Lahat sabihin ko tapos ng presin. Desmo? Presin. Vaso? Presin, COVID, presin, Brian, presin, whatever it is. Basta presin ang ending, automatic, it's an anti-diuretic hormone. Let me give you a few examples here, like that one. So vasopressin, we have your what? Desmopressin or DDAVP. All right, okay, the desmopressin acetate. Okay, if ever additional information to sa uh, NLE exam, what is the most common route of administration of this medication? The best answer is intranasal. 
intranasal. Why? Remember, pitiwitari gland, mas malapit gland. Okay? So, pag walang intranasal, you can also go for IV. So, intranasal, pag wala IV. Intranasal, pag wala IV. Are we clear with this one? Okay, good. So, anong wala, ibigay for the rest of your life. Okay, next. What else do we need to do? Okay, management. We get, can also give the patient a drug known to be as your chlorpropamide, otherwise known to be as diabetes. It's there. Okay, so chlorpropamide known to be as diabetes. Chlorpropamide, diabetes. Okay, everybody. For, uh, what drug is chlorpropamide, Sir Brian? This is a type of OHA. Huh? It's a type of an OHA. Are you familiar with OHA? Yeah? Okay, what's all stands for? Oral hypoglycemic agent. It's an anti-diabetic drug. Oh, maraming magbabailang reaction. Sir, akala ko ba walang diabetes? Ba't yung bibigay ka ng OHA? Well, wait lang, chill lang po kayo. Hindi po lahat ng gamot binibigay lagi para isang effect lang. Maraming gamot po that has other multiple effects. I'll give you example. Basic na lang, paracetamol. Para saan ang paracetamol? It's an anal? Just eh. But is it also an antipyretic? Yeah, that's my point. I can give it as an analgesic. I can give it as an antipyretic. Steroids, pare. Steroids is an anti-inflammatory, but I can give it as an immunosuppressant. Or uh, marami pa, actually. All right? You get my point? Okay. So I'm giving this drug, okay, not for sugar problem. Kasi sasabihin niya, pang diabetes mellitus type 2 yan. No. I'm giving it for another reason. Okay? So I'm giving it for the purpose of this. Everybody pronounce the word diabetes. Isa pa. Bilugin niya S dyan. Diabetes. This one. In circle S. Diabetes. Okay, so diabetes stimulates ADH release. Diabetes will help the release of, okay, release of more ADH. Di ba ang problem natin, low production? So we can help, okay, class the problem or the patient by stimulating more ADH production sa hypothalamus. Okay, aside from stimulation of more ADH production, another function of your what, uh, clock propamide, it can lower your resistance to ADH. Di ba naalala nyo? Pwede rin pang neurogenic, pag mababa ang production, pag nephron naman, resistance. So, ito dalawa ginagawa niya. Ini-stimulate niya yung hypothalamus to produce more ADH or, or okay, okay, it will stimulate the pituitary posterior to release stored ADH or it will lower the resistance of your kidney in terms of your ADH. Can you follow? Okay, so that's why may technique dyan. Everybody pronounce the word diabetes. Go. Diabetes starts with what letter? Diabetes, look at me. Okay, starts with what letter? D. Okay, followed by what letter? I. Oh, yeah, no. D, I. That's given for diabetes insipidus. Clear so far? Okay, good. So additional information, of course, we go for hydration anyway. You can go for oral fluid, IV fluid, parenteral, whatsoever. And next, of course, you need to monitor the patient, okay, I and O, and weigh the patient daily. Question, when is the best time to weigh a patient? AM, PM. AM, same time of the day, same time of, okay, same type of weighing scale, okay, so as much as possible para accurate. Diba? And remember the conversion na, in every one kilo of your weight, that's equivalent to 1,000 ml of fluid. So for example, every one kilo na mawala sa'yo o madagdag sa'yo, that's 1,000 ml of fluid. If you don't like 1,000 ml, 1,000 cc. If you don't like 1,000 ml, 1,000 cc, 1 liter, because same conversion lang yan, 1,000 ml is 1 liter. Can you follow? Okay, so 1 kilogram, 1,000 ml. Kunwari, Sir Brian is 80 kilos right now. For example, I developed a okay, KDI and from the uh, 80 kilos, I went down 75 kilos. How many kilos did I lose? Correct, 5. Okay, how many ml of fucking fluid did I lose? Correct, 5,000. Kasi 1 kilo, 1,000 ml. 5 kilo na wala sa akin. Alright? Okay, good. So, weigh the patient daily. That's why the best indicator for fluid status is weight because we can detect accurately how much we lost. Alright? Okay. So, aside from that, okay, of course, monitor and correct electrolytes. Kung ano bumaba, alitan lang natin kasi nabihydrate yung patient natin. Can you follow, guys? Okay. So, monitor electrolytes. Okay. So, that is, okay, the management for, anong sakit po? Diabetes what? In? Cibidus. Ang importante dyan is hormone replacement therapy for the rest of your life. Very good. Anong drug ending ulit? Baso? Presin, desmo, presin, basta presin ang ending niyan. Okay? So let's continue. Doon na tayo sa opposite side. Okay? So di ba, sinimula natin yung side ganina, NDI. O, doon na tayo sa side. So side is high levels of EDH. Question, pag sobrang high level ng EDH nyo, okay, let's go for the clinical manifestation ngayon ng side. Clinical manifestation ng side. Okay, now, ano meron? I ng I, di maka-i. 
Correct. Di makai. Ano tawag sa medical term? Oliguria. Okay. So, ang normal urine output, as mentioned, is 30 to 60 cc per hour. Less than 30, you're oligure. Question. Pag hindi ka makaihi, what will happen to you? Water loss or retention? Correct. Okay. Water retention. Water retention. Question. Pag nag-water retention ka, anong mangyari do sa ihi mo? Diluted, concentrated. Correct. Concentrated. You develop urine concentration. Alright, okay. Di ba kanina ihi ng ihi, diluted. Ngayon naman, di ka umiihi, concentrated. Because you have enough time, actually sobrang time, na ma maiwan yung ihi sa kidney nyo. Okay? So you have urine concentration. Now, as mentioned, you develop water retention. Will it affect the fluid status in your system? Yes or no? Yes. What will it do? Fluid loss or overload? Overload. Will it affect the blood volume nurses? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So, okay. What will happen, okay, to the blood volume? Hypovolemia, hypervolemia. Correct. Hypervolemia. Saan pumupunta ang tubig natin? Vascular, cellular. Nalala, ADH, diretso sa what? Vascular. So, that's why you can also develop JVD. What is JVD? Jugular vein distension. Maraming water. Okay. Now, as mentioned, okay, if you have, okay, excessive fluid, obviously, it will cause what? Weight loss, weight gain. Weight gain. 1 kilo, ilang ml ulit? 1,000. Ilang cc ulit? 1,000. Ilang litro? 1. Okay, good. Next, will it affect, okay, class, as mentioned, the blood volume? Yeah. Causing hypervolemia. Balik. What is your blood? Is a blood a solution? Yeah, a combination of solid and solvent. Ngayon ang nangyari, dinagdagan natin ng EDH. Remember, EDH attracts a lot of fluid. What is water? What is fluid? Solute or solvent? Solvent. Diba? Okay, solid, solvent, solvent. So, parang dadagdagan mo na maraming water yung blood mo, so yung plasma mo dadami, causing hypervolemia. You get my point? Okay, so imagine mo na lang, um, tawag dito, imagine mo, okay, yung orange juice mo, lagyan mo ng maraming maraming water, diba, tatabang siya. So, you will also, basically later, okay, dilute the blood, causing hemodilution. Diba? Causing hemodilution. Okay? Hemodilution. Can you follow, guys? Okay. So, imagine mo yung blood, dalagyan mo na maraming maraming water, madidilute siya. Okay? Uh, aside from that, pag hypervolemic ka class, ano mangyari sa BP? Tataas ba ba ba? Tataas. You develop hypertension. So, pakisulat mo. You may also develop high blood pressure or hypertension. So, obviously, kanina hypotension, ngayon hypertension. Now, balik tayo. Okay. Um, if ever class, okay, nagkaroon tayo ng hemodilution, question or says, Ano ang pinaka-abundant na electrolyte sa blood? Yung pinaka-maraming electrolyte. Sodium, calcium, potassium, ano? It's gonna be what? Sodium. Remember, ang potassium 3.5 to 5.5 lang yan. Magnesium 1.5 to 2.5. Phosphate about 2.5 to 4.5. Kahit huwag mo na sulat yung normal value. Ang sodium po, 135 to 145. Diba? Ang layo. So we have 135, 145, okay, of sodium in the blood. What is a sodium? A solid product or a solvent? Solid. Diba? Ang problema, okay, if you have ADH, do you attract a lot of water, yes or no? Yes. And what will the water do to the acin or to the acid, uh, to the salt? Dilute it or concentrate? Correct, dilute. That's why the patient will suffer from dilutional hyponatremia. Dilutional hyponatremia. And that's not good. Why? Is sodium an electrolyte, yes or no? Yes, pronounce again the word electrolyte. Good. Electrolyte controls electrical flow. Diba? Okay, do we have electricity in the body? Yeah. If we have uh, we have electricity in the heart, we have electricity in the muscles, and electricity in the brain. If there's electrical changes in your heart, it's called arrhythmia. If there's electrical changes in your brain, it's called seizures. Again, pag may electrical changes sa heart, anong problema? Or electrical problem rather? Arrhythmia. Electrical changes sa brain or problems sa brain? Seizure. Now, take note. Okay. Anong mababa sa ating electrolyte? Calcium or sodium? Sodium. Okay. Tandaan na. Sodium. Okay. Anong chemical symbol ng sodium? Na. Na starts with what letter? N. Ang sodium po ay importante sa neurosystem. While ang calcium at potassium importante naman sa cardiac system. Class, ha, I'm not telling na you don't need sodium sa heart or potassium sa brain. You, both of them needs. Pero sinasabi ko lang, ang pinakamalakas na maka sa heart is more of calcium and potassium. While sodium naman affects your actual brain uh, greater. You get my point? Or in your nervous system. So therefore, what can we have? Can we have electrical changes? Okay, in your uh, brain, if okay, you develop okay delusional hyponatremia. Yes. So what will be the electrical what problem? Is it arrhythmia or seizure? 
Correct. You may develop what? Seizures. Gawa ng what? Hyponatremia. Question, is seizure dangerous? Yeah, because seizure, remember, the longer the seizure you have, the less oxygen in your brain, and you can also develop further brain damage. Can you follow a safety in an issue? Technique, I guys, I'm going to repeat your DI. DI starts with what letter? D. Ang problema, dehydration. Now, repeat the word, uh, cyan. Good. Cyan naman is more of what? Seizures. Kuha nyo, DI, DI, dehydration siya. Cyan, 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 seizures naman siya. Can you follow? Okay. Now, last question. Okay. Ah, hindi pa naman last question. Dagdag lang. Okay. Can you have, okay, class, body edema? Yes or no? Do you have body edema? Yes or no? No. Diba? Ang sabi ko, no body edema. But, can you have edema of the kidney? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. The medical term that you can use there. Okay. So, okay. Is your what? Hypo, hydronephrosis. Hydronephrosis. So, you develop hydronephrosis. Hydrotubing. Nephrosis kidney. Can you follow? Okay. So, again, may edema ng kidney. Bakit walang edema ng katawan? Tanda na, no body edema. Why wala tayong body edema? Para magka body edema, nasan dapat ang tubig? First, second, or third? Second or third? Most of the time, third. Third para magka edema. Nasan ang tubig sa sayan? First, second, or third? First. So, you have edema of the kidney, jugular vein distension, but there's no body edema. Are we clear? Are we clear? Okay. So, ingat kayo kasi minsan sa NLE, may SATA na rin. Select all that apply. All or nothing. For example, nakalagay doon, select all that apply. Symptoms for cyan. Okay. You have polyguria. Tama. Water retention. Tama. Fluid overload. Tama. Tapos nalagay mo doon, body edema. Wala na. Cyan. Remember, all or nothing. If you got one mistake, it's wrong. If sobra ang sagot, wrong. Ulang ang sagot, wrong. You get my point? So, tandaan. No body edema. Mati edema ng kidney. Meron. Are we clear? Yeah? Okay. Good. Let's proceed. Okay, let's go for the what? Clinical manifestations. Or we finished already that. We have your diagnostic test naman. Okay, diagnostic test for cyan. Okay, so medyo mabilis to kasi opposite lang naman talaga. Okay, di ba sabi nga sa inyo, hindi pwedeng high, hindi pwedeng low. Pansinin nyo, yung symptoms, baliktad lang sila. Alam mo, pag tinatamad ka sa endocrine, memorizing mo yung kabila, baliktad rin mo yun yung opposite. Diba? Okay, so diagnostic test, similar din po. Number one, CT scan MRI, we need to check the brain. Okay, so if it's really working properly, dahil po talamos. Okay, number two, you can go for KFT or kidney function test. Bakit? Para malaman natin if the kidney is actually the cause of the urine retention because it can also happen because of renal failure. Okay, number three, okay, you can also go for the specific gravity test. I already explained what's the purpose of that. Same thing, it checks the ability of your kidney to concentrate urine. Now, this time around, what's your normal value of that? One 1.01, 0 to 1.0 what? 30. This time around, what's the specific gravity of your cyan? High or low? High or low? High. Very good. Mataas ang specific gravity ng ating cyan. Kasi nga, hindi siya umiihit. So it's about less than 0.10 or above more than, uh, more than 0.30. Correct. More than 0.30. Correct. Okay. Then another one, we can also go for serum osmolarity test. Same thing earlier. So you check the concentration of your blood. This time around, ano naman yung blood concentration? High or low? Correct. Low. You get my point? Okay. Diba sabi ko, concentrated urine, urine sa sayad, diluted yung blood. Nag-seizures pa nga tayo, diba? Okay, good. So I already gave you the normal value. So it's same thing then po. Okay. Next, EEG or electroencephalogram. This is to check the electrical activity of the brain, which can be affected, gawa ng seizures. And of course, serum electrolytes, especially your serum sodium level. The normal sodium level for the OC people here, it's 135 to 145 milli equivalent per liter or MEQ per liter. Let me repeat, 135 to 145 MEQ per liter. Are we clear with this one? Yeah? Okay, good. So let's continue. Okay, and okay, all of this are your what? Diagnostic test. So almost similar. No, almost similar with what? DI. Okay, let's go for the what? Clinical, ma okay, diagnostic test. We already finished it. Let's go for the management. Okay, so management na tayo ng ating what? Cyan. Okay, number one, mabilis na tayo since it's just, okay, an opposite. Number one, limit fluids. Kanina hydrate, ngayon bawasan. Next, you can also give diuretics if you need to. I think you know why. Okay, I'll explain diuretics uh, formally during the lecture of your what? Pharmacology na mismo, ha? Okay, but for now, diuretics. We have a lot of diuretics. Look, diuretic, thiazide, you know why? To eliminate what? Water. Antihypertensive if you need to because of hypertension like beta blockers, calcium blockers, ACE inhibitors. There's a lot of drugs. Okay, anticonvulsants can also be given, obviously, for seizures. Example of that is your phenytoin, dilantin, familiar? Your pinobarbital, familiar? Benzodiazepine or diazepam, are you familiar? Yung ano? 
Diazepam, those are benzodiazepines. Okay, guys, those are example of anticonvulsant. Okay, next, you can also go for radiation as needed. Remember, PRN is as needed. What is the purpose of radiation? Increase the size of a tumor, decrease, decrease or reduce. That means radiation, radiation, letter R, reduce the size of the tumor. If the cause is tumor. Kung walang tumor, huwag mo gamitin. Okay? Antineoplastic is an anti-tumor drug. Like example, mitotain, mga ganon, cyclopostomide. If the cause is tumor. If not, you don't need to. Okay? Sodium replacement, obviously. Walang sodium, bigay. Okay? Sodium, okay, replacement. Okay, replacement, of course, seizure precaution. Raise the side rail. Di ba? Okay? So, uh, pag nag-seizure, do not hold, okay, do not hold the patient tightly. Okay, do not restrain kasi may injury. You know that. Okay? Recovery position of first seizure is side-lying. Di ba? Mga ganyan. Okay? Do not insert a padded tongue depressor. I think everybody's familiar with that. Okay? So, we'll discuss it separately. But for now, seizure precaution. And again, the last one, the drug of choice is demeclocycline. Okay, the drug of choice, let me repeat, is demeclocycline. Okay, now, everybody repeat the word cycling. Good. Lahat na sabihin ko, pakitapos ang cycling. Go, tetra, cycling, doxy, cycling, demeclo, cycling. Good job. That is an antibiotic. Yan yung ending yan, cycling, cycling, highlight niyan. Okay, cycling, 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 that is an antibiotic. Okay, so actually, it's, alam niyo yung doxy cycling yung binibigay sa leptospirosis? Saka sa Lyme's disease, yung mga tick bite, if you're familiar with that disorder. Okay, so ngayon, okay, it's also an antibiotic. My question, may infection ba sa sayon? Meron wala? Wala. Parang kanina sa DI, walang sugar problem but I give an OHA. What is the reason for the secondary purpose na naman? Okay, so let's write it down. So I'm not giving this for infection but rather for its other effect. So repeat again the word, demeclocycline. Good. Demeclocycline starts at what letter? D, it decreases. Uh, it decreases. Tanda na, demeclocycline letter D, decreases the overproduction or decreases production of ADH or inhibits the, okay, the release of ADH. Tapi inaintindihan niyo, binabawasan niya yung production ng ADH. So, yun yung trabaho niya. So, tanda na, D, demeclocycline, D, demeclocycline, D, decrease or inhibits the production of ADH, which is high if you have cyan. Clear? Are we clear? Okay. So now, okay, let's, okay, I think every, uh, everything is clear. Okay, class, okay, in terms of your what? Manifestations and the details about DI and science. So let's try it, okay, from one last time. Actually, you've done it earlier, di ba? So you can able, you've been able to compare it and to contrast it by just looking or just by just understanding the function of the hormone. Okay, now we have more details. Let's try to check it, okay, or do it one more time. You tell me if it's Sayad, you tell me if it's DI. Okay? You tell me if it's Sayad, you tell me if it's DI. Game, ha? Okay, so mas kompleto tayo. Sayad or DI, Sayad or DI. Let's start. One, two, three, go. Sino yung ng ihi? DI. Di ba ka ihi? Sayad. Oliguria. Sayad. Water loss. DI. Water retention. Sayad. Hypervolemia. Sayad. Hypertension. Sayad. Hypotension. DI. Shock. DI. Weight loss. DI. DI. Water excess, cyan, jugular vein distension, cyan, shock and dehydration, DI, seizures, cyan. Okay, very good. Okay, sino dito class ang ano, ang may water deprivation test kasagaran? DI, very good. Okay, sino dito class, okay, ang bibigyan po ng vasopressin for the rest of their life? DI, desmopressin, pressin pa rin. DI, demeclocycline, bibigyan ko. Sayad, very good. Sino dito ang limit fluids? Limit fluids. Sayad, sino dito ang give more fluids? DI, exactly. Very good. Okay. Sino dito okay, ang mababa ang specific gravity? Sayad, DI. Mababa ang specific gravity? DI, kasi I ng I. Sino ang mataas ang specific gravity? Sayad. Sino ang mataas ang serum osmolarity? DI. Sino ang mababa ang what? Serum osmolarity? Sayad, stop. Most of the time, you are getting confused with that one. Actually, kabisado niyo na lahat eh. Ang problema dyan lang, usually na nakakonfuse kayo sa concentration. Let me do something about that one. Let's go to, okay, let's go somewhere. Okay, I'll give you a technique. Okay, this is my final thing to teach you right now. Let me teach you a technique that will help you uh, get the lecture faster on this one. Let's go somewhere. Okay, let's go to US. Saan tayo pupunta? US. Okay, let's go to it. Okay, one more time. Let's go to where? 
U.S. Okay, so let me share a slide here again. Okay, let's go to U.S. Parang United States of America. Okay, so ang tanong, may visa ka na ba? Okay, biro lang. Okay, so ngayon, let's go to U.S. Visipahin natin si Tito Trump. Okay, so let's go to U.S. Okay, U. What does U stands for? U stands for urine. S stands for serum. Anana, U stands for urine. S stands for serum. I will be talking about osmolarity. And what is osmolarity again? Concentration. Very good. So, Anana, where with uh, anong country pupunta natin? U.S. Anong U? Urine. Anong S? Serum. Very good. Okay. So, ngayon, anong check natin dito? Concentration. Ang gagawin nyo ganito, di ba nakasulat? U, urine, S, serum. Sa baba, pakisulat po yung word na what? Cyan. Kuha nyo. After that, pakisulat din po yung word na what? EI. Nakuha nyo po ba? Nakakasunod sa akin, ha? Okay, focus on yan. This is the last one. Okay, so side and DI. So what I need you to do, again, where are we going again? U, tsaka what? S. U is what? Urine, what is S? Serum. Now, etong gagawin nyo, ulitin nyo yung word sa akin, ha? Magsalita kayo dyan. Sabi mo, cyan. Cyan, okay, bilugan mo yung I. Repeat the word I. Good. Bilugan mo yung D. Sabi mo yung word D. Good. Repeat the word I and D. Good job. Sa baba mo na tayo, D, I. D, I, bilugan mo yung D. Sabi mo yung word D. Good. Bilugan mo yung word na I. Sabi mo yung word I. Good. Sabi mo, D and I. Good. Okay, one last thing ha. Participate with me. Where are we going? U.S. Anong U? S. Okay, anong U? Urine. Anong S? Serum. Okay, correct. So, repeat the word. I and D. Good. D and I. One more time. I and D. D and I. What does I mean? I means what? Increase. D means what? Decrease. D means what? Decrease. I means it increase. Now, I means increase. Finish. You can make that table and you can understand the, okay, the concentration in a much better way. Kasi nga, most of the people nako-confuse. Nakukuha niya yung teknika. Okay. So, di ba? I and D, D and I. Ang I means increase. D means decrease. D means decrease. I means increase. I'll prove it to you. Di ba ang sayan? Uh, concentrated ang urine, ang serum diluted. Ang DI naman, diluted ang urine kasi yung ihi ng ihi, yung blood ang concentrated. Nakukuha niya ba, nurses? Alright, okay, good job. Okay, so tatandaan nyo ha. Okay, so sa country na pupuntahan natin, bibisitahin natin si Tito Trump, si Uncle Trump. Okay, so we're gonna go to the US. Okay, so make sure na may visa tayo. Okay, so US. Ano yung U ulit? Urine. Ano yung S? Serum. Okay. So we're talking about concentra uh, concentration or osmolarity. Sabi mo, Syed D.I. Good. What does Syed stands for? I-N-D. No, I mean not the meaning of okay, the letters. I-N-D. D-N-I. What does I stands for? Increase. D means what? Decrease. D means what? Decrease. I means increase. That is your concentration. Are we clear? Hopefully, guys, okay, you've learned a lot, okay, of things right now sa lecture natin, okay, and I hope I've been able to share something, no, okay, at uh, makatulong, okay, again, on your upcoming board examination. Again, okay, before I end my lecture, okay, I would like to uh, mention one more thing to you, okay, dito sa St. Louis Review Center, we've always, okay, uh, lagi kaming ano eh, may ginagawa kaming battle cry for our students, okay? Whenever, okay, we have, uh, napapansin namin yung mga sudyante na medyo inaantok na, whatever, we always ask them a question, and this is the question, what is your goal, okay, for your nursing licensure exam, okay? At ang sagot lagi dapat nurses ganito, to top the board exam. Let's write nga, guys. Okay, let's, okay. Um, uh, loosen up a bit, okay. And uh, with hand movements, dapat uh, and conviction, ha? okay. So pag sinabi ko, what is your goal? You say, to top the board exam. So let's do it one more time. What is your goal? There says, to top the board exam. Again, one more last time. With enthusiasm, what is your goal? To top the board examination. All right, okay. So hopefully, guys, okay, uh, you've uh, learned a lot of things today. Okay, and I hope, okay, to see you soon. Formally and again in our online okay classes okay so I have a lot of things to share with you pa no okay so if can, if I can make um I mean a certain topic and then do plain easy can you imagine how can I teach uh, I mean what more pang tinuro ko pa yung ECG yeah ako na irapa kay sa ECG na parang tiling mo pag nagbabasa ka ng ECG parang pirma lang ng doctor intayin mo pang lecture ko sa inyan I will make it easy to you na isang tingin mo lang ah ifib ah iflat you get my point? Okay. You can get it right away. Doc, wala namang mas mahirap din. Okay. So, I will actually also teach you a lot of what, okay, system pa. 
No? Okay, I can uh, teach you also a lot of techniques pa. Okay, and on top of that, I can also share some test-taking strategies. Okay, so again, okay, this is just like a, um, a taste of what we can do in St. Louis. And it's only me pa lang ngayon. There are a lot of us, okay, who can actually teach you. Okay, so again, okay, let us uh, help you get that license. Let us help you top that board examination. Okay, guys? Okay. So, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and God bless everybody and stay safe and virus-free. Us, guys. Okay. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. So here in SLRC, they train me to answer a lot of difficult questions. So when I was taking my board exam, I found that the questions here in SLRC were actually much more difficult than the board exam itself. So it gave me a huge sigh of relief. And I